Hey guys, it's Floda, and welcome back to a another stream! It has been a little bit, I guess, since this plot fest, hasn't it? I haven't streamed since Sunday, which, you know, it's a little, it's a little different. Usually I have like a midday stream or whatnot in the middle of the week, but we're vibing today. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, today we're going to be doing a little bit of everything, uh, because there's a lot to do today. First of all, monthly challenge is right now, and I want to be able to play some PBs because we haven't had done that in a little bit. Uh, and also some table turf because y'all know that I love table turf and we gotta play some of that. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully everyone is doing well today. I was in a different outfit. I was in this outfit. So, um, so yeah, um, it's good to see everyone here today. Hopefully everyone has been having a good Loda Friday. Um, yeah, it's the weekend. Uh, did you all know that it's going to be April in two, uh, on Monday? April 1st. April Fool's. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens then. But anyway, uh, it's good to see you all here. Hello, Maddie. Hello, Unity. Hello, Duck. Hello, Bad. Hello, correctly spelt. Uh, who is correctly spelt? Uh, the, their username. There we go. Also, hello, Wolfie. Uh, welcome on in. We also have Kyo. Good to see you. Hello, Easy G. Hello, JD. Hello, Iridas. Um, Hello, Zai. Welcome on in. We have Hognos in here. And everyone else. Welcome on in as well. Um, but yeah, the monthly challenge is uh that's x battle humpback ship shape rainmaker which is actually not bad that's a pretty solid rotation um so we're gonna be playing that right now actually and yeah um we're gonna we're we're gonna we're gonna have some fun and that's a little greta welcome on in hopefully doing well um but yeah let's go ahead and get started with some challenges obviously make sure to join in the pool um, let me also quickly, that's not what I wanted to press, I wanted to press this. There you go. Um, because there might be some screen usage in solo queue, so just wanted to let people know about that. But yeah, the, the thing that we're going to do today is we're going to be, um, we're going to be doing challenges first, and then we're going to do PBs and table turf. Um, so yeah. But before we begin, let me gamble. I got a bronze capsule before this, so I'm not expecting anything good. Okay. Um, so yeah. I don't know how I want to work this, so this is up to you, chat. Do you want to... Do you want to do three rounds per lobby, and then you can rejoin? Or do you want to get a power, and then you can't rejoin? I, I'm going to leave it up to you. Um, so... There are, what, you need five matches to get a power, to calc a power. Um, but you cannot rejoin until PBs and table turf. That okay with everyone? Power? Seems like a lot of y'all are saying power, okay. Um, this is just for challenges, by the way, so if you were in a challenge lobby, you are free to join us in PBs and table turf later. So, it's not like a, get out! <laughs> you play the matches, you're done! <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, no. we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be, uh, allowing you guys to rejoin. Just, you cannot rejoin a challenge lobby once you get the power, so. Um, this will allow, you know, obviously people to get a power if they want, as well as other things. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty good. But, but yeah, make sure to join in the pool password, always 4866. Is Nightbot working today? I haven't touched Nightbot, so maybe it doesn't work. Is it gonna work? It's not gonna work. <laughs> oh! Nightbot, why are you not working? Nightbot, can you, are you okay? Is there a way to like test out something? Is it okay? I don't know if I'm able to, like, test if it's working or not. I don't know. Uh, my bot. Anyway, 
Um, let's go ahead and get started. Also, I wanted to show you guys something. Um, I built my clash gear. Do you, do you like it, the drip? If you were if you weren't here on Sunday, you would know that um I have a little obsession with this weapon. Um there was a screenshot that I posted on Twitter the other day that I wanted to share. Let me let me pull that up real fast. That I wanted to show before I get started here. Because there was a uh, uh, a very interesting match that happened in X Battle, of all things. This is not a real gun. be allowed with this gun, but we're gonna use it anyway. We're gonna have fun. Let's play the game now. Do we have no range? Yes, but are we gonna do awesome? Yes. That's what we're gonna do. How many were assists? I think it was 14 assists, if I remember. So more than half of them were kills. But it's still kind of crazy to see 30 on the uh, on the thing. So yeah, it was kind of it's kind of wild. <laughs> no skill. <laughs> Don't worry though, I'm not gonna be just a clash main though. I'm gonna still play Brella and stuff. So yeah. I don't understand the challenge rules. So, uh, monthly challenge is just ranked. And the goal for this challenge is to get as high of a power as possible. Because there's a chance that if you're in the top three teams uh, during a certain time period, I think. I don't think it's this rotation, I think it's the next one. Um, where you can get a custom picture from Nintendo. But overall, it's just ranked, and you're just having fun. So, yeah, we vibe like that. Okay, that's a little jet sculpture. There you go, right next to the chat. So let me just... There we go. Getting the free check right here, nice. But if you're talking about rotation rules for today, well, I'm gonna die. Um, after we get after we do five matches, then we'll reset for new players. Also, it's a custom picture on Twitter. They they have your uh your uh, your cephalopod pose on the stage, I believe, humpback or ship shape. Depends on what uh, they decide to do, though. Usually for top three, they have a top three, and they also have a medium average person award. So if you get, like, the average power, like the medium power of everything, then um, you also get a picture. So it's just, it's a little treat. They have, they pose your, your cephalopod on the stage in custom poses that you otherwise would not be able to put your inkling in or whatever so it's pretty neat but mostly this challenge is just for fun because it is pretty hard to get super high powers because usually they're really really high 2600s also how are you not dead wiper goodness goodness gracious so yeah. hello targeted welcome on in hopefully doing well Okay, there we go. Around this corner, Clash is so good. These are good maps for Clash. Anyway. Let's get going. Oh my god. Some point. Oh, I'm dead. Nice beacon, though. I like this beacon over here. Let me see if I can jump to it. I'm gonna jump here. I don't think they notice. Oh, 
Oh, I almost got them. I just ran out of ink. Oh, party net! Get out of here, Jet. Oh my god. Ooh, snap. I want to get some chumps. Chumps. Nah. I'm a white bird. Oh. So I would say to Pokemon and hopefully doing well. Also, little target welcome on and congrats on completing the last of us. Hopefully you had fun. I know that you were playing that. So I should have probably not dropped so suddenly. Oh. I thought they were gonna go one way and I didn't see that. We're gonna get points here. I think they're gonna get a lead. If we don't stop them now. Yeah. But it's not too big of a lead, so it doesn't matter. As long as we get the kills leader. Which I Struggling to get a little bit here. And honestly, we re reset the Rainmaker. Wouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, I hit the wall. To protect you. Ah, oh, the stupid zap. I'm gonna jump. Oh, they fired first, so I lose. I think they're gonna win here. They're gonna just keep it over there. Yeah. So close game, close close first game. Wow. Hello, Jenny. Welcome on in. How you doing? I was the lowest point ninja. Hope you're doing well. And seeing how they introduced the photo mode, they never updated past ability to use in recon. They need to add more poses for real. I I, I hope that they do because it they're really fun. Yeah, overall very fun, very fun first match, very close. Um. I wish I was able to get more kills personally, but we're just getting started, so it's okay. I'll back a little bit hard, too. It's considered one of the better Rainmaker maps by the majority of the community, so, you know, it's pretty, pretty intense. Didn't do too bad. It's all good. So, Hunter, how are you doing today? It's good to see you. I might switch to a ranged weapon a little bit soon. So we do lack some range, which is always lovely on these maps. I do want to mess around with Clash for a little bit, because y'all know that I've been obsessed with Clash. I actually, okay, chat, I've been doing this on Twitch, right? I've been playing X-Rank on Twitch just for a little bit um, this week, because I haven't had the... Um, I like to do longer X-Rank streams on YouTube, right? So, like, you know, I can play a little bit longer and uh, hang out. Uh, on Twitch, I've been occasionally doing X rank, and I. So, you know how, like, I have, like, really bad X rank powers, right? Like, 1700s, 1800s, like, calcs are bad. Um, they're all back up to 2000 now. Um, mostly due to Clash. Um, I was able to get to my tower and clams power up because of Clash Neo, and Zones was with the Red Pencil. So, the, the, the Red Pencil's totally unrelated, but. I just wanted to share that because Clash has been very successful. <laughs> totally, totally no Brain Rot or anything. Also, whoa. Dapple's Nouveau galore here. Let's, uh... Let's, uh, be careful. There you go. Those guys are gonna run in all willy-nilly. I think someone is around this corner. Or not? Oh, they're right here. We got him. Let's, uh... Oh, I somehow killed them. I'm just gonna do this. Oh, the Pope got me, dude. But there we go. Let's pop this Rainmaker. We totally got the pop there. Um, and yeah, let's grab it up. 
Someone's jumping in. Cannot hide in that corner for very long. They don't have too much range against me, so I can poke a little bit more. Oh, okay. Nice bubble. I like this bubble. I love bubble! Oh my god, I'm just sitting here and getting free kills. Oh my god, okay. Holy cow! I was farming kills! <laughs> no! I just sat there and just got so many directs with class that should not happen. Oh my god. <laughs> Oops, I only died like what? Twice? Oh my god! That wasn't even that long of a game, and I went 13 and 2 because the thing with Clash is it's not good on its own, but when someone else is already going in and I'm just shooting at them, you get so many kills. Oh my god. Hello. Good good morning. This is how bad Clash is. Uh, it's bad in the positive and negative way. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, we're so silly. <laughs> what is your problem with red writing utensils? I don't know. If they make heavy edit, uh, red next, maybe. But at least I love Brella the most, so that's not a writing utensil. I think I need to take a break after my 5-star Gluga Deco run. Oh, definitely take a break. Getting 5-star on a weapon just to right off the bat of the season, that it takes a lot of, um... <laughs> that takes a lot of patience. <laughs> definitely take a break. For sure. <laughs> Anyway, here we go. Oh, so yeah, I guess heavy edits already read. I want to be specific about that. Anyway, different map, ship shape. Uh, somehow we get the pop. Oh, we have heavy edit now. Okay, one's up here. We're gonna be able to get the check. The tent is right behind us. Okay, we get it, we get it. That's good, that's good. Oh, and I'm the only one alive, and I can't shark. Oh, yeah, I can't shark. <laughs> I'm poor! I should have probably went in and... That's okay. I couldn't really do anything. Hey, okay, goodbye! Oh, the tent and the blaster. So I faced against this tent in uh, Solo Queue before. I recognize their username. Okay, I'll trade. Me and V Blaster have a similar kill time, so. As long as we don't grab the Remaker, we just like. Don't let them grab it. Oh, the blaster was down here with me. We died a little bit too late, but it is okay. Is someone behind us? They're not okay. But there's a suction bomb. Honestly, reset it, reset it. Drop it, drop it, drop it in the pit. Oh. Okay, well, the, the stream latency. Sometimes you gotta drop it in the pit because they get the lead off this. Not too much of a lead, but we gotta reset this Rainmaker stat. Just drop it into the void. Someone else is there, okay. Oh, Bazooka! Can't do anything about that, right? Okay, they're on right, though. Uh, I don't know if I really need a jump. I know Elise will jump, but I have stealth jump, it's okay. I'm just gonna just do that. I'm gonna go on the bridge again. Oh, dude, that tent. Okay, we got them. It's just the tent. 
Stop that. He managed to get out. Oh, that's a heavy edit. Oh, the blaster went down. And the rest of my team's dead. I wish it was able to go in, but frankly, it was stuck. Ah, oh, dude! I could have gotten a direct on them. Oh, don't I? Welcome on in. Hopefully doing well. We still have a chance, though. We still have a chance. No. Oh, my God. Hater alert. Dude, I ran out of ink at the wrong time. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, dude, I wish I killed Bazooka. I ran out of ink, I so threw. Oh, I feel so bad. I wish I didn't run out of ink! Ugh. If I didn't run out of ink, I probably would have helped my team a lot more, but... I ran out of ink as soon as they were on their hater Zuka arc. Very close game, though. Uh, not, not... We were not completely knocked out or anything. I just needed to get that last kill on the enemy, and... Ugh. It's a little whackers, what's my name? So I'm doing well today. I haven't really done much today, but we vibe. Yeah. Should have jumped off, sorry, my bad. It's okay. Yeah, when you're stuck on with the Rainmaker on the right side of Ship Shape, there's a lot of enemies. Uh the easy uh, even if you die, jumping off like not even off the uh to reset the ring yourself, but putting it in that pit allows for a lot more stall. Because it can't go anywhere. Just drop it. But no worries, it's okay. It's a little, little Supreme Pokemon in, hopefully doing well. No ink, yeah. I didn't have ink, I threw the, the curling bomb and I thought I had enough, but... I didn't, so it's okay. It's all okay. You didn't get, like, super wiped or anything, so, like, you know. So there's a little bit of lag. For some reason, NSO has not been really kind to me. My Wi-Fi has been fine, unless I'm connected to the wrong Wi-Fi. Um, but it's totally possible, but... Um... I've been just having... Internet issues today. With, specifically, Splatoon. I'm wonder why, Nintendo. But, you know, whatever. What are you gonna do about that? Okay, I got the double, that's pretty good. The more I play Clash, the more I want to put the QR on this. So it might feel a little better, but I always get kills before I die, and I don't think QR cues in when that happens. So I feel like we should have resetted that. Uh, because we are now trapped in our base. Yeah. Yeah, so now they're they're gonna get into our base and they're gonna get checked super duper easily. Um, if we do not kill them from behind. Which I'm gonna stay up here and try and do. 
Um, yeah, sometimes it's okay not to pick up the Rainmaker, folks. So if we can just reset it, that'll be good. Because they still have yet to get the Chag. And now they're just gonna get it for free. Okay, now they're wiped. I'm just gonna go the, this way. What's the pencil doing here, bro? Okay, there we go. Crab Slayer. Oh. I thought someone would notice that guy moving forward, but I was just not able to get... I was just barely out of my range. Could have done something good with that. No! Stop that. Oh! Stamper, I hate Stamper. Okay, there you go. Alright, here you go. Please. Nice! This way, this way! Okay, lots of kills. Lots of, lots of kills. Uh, are we gonna survive this? Nah. Lead, though. I'm gonna sneak though. Oh, they notice me. Oh, I'm dead. I'm just got stuck. Nice, Yuka. Good, good, good. That was really good. I was getting a little scared, and then I remembered Lugas does have the silly little uh, Zuka, doesn't it? Such a good tool for it. What a good special for Vugas. Okay. Oh, just the scamper. Are they down here? Something backed out. We definitely gotta jump in, too. Oh, they have crab, though. Oh! Yeah, honestly, just keep it in that corner. Oh my god, Wolfie lagging on my screen. Maybe... Maybe it isn't just me. How is Wolfie getting away with that? What? That was really good. Hello? That should have not been possible at all, but here we are. I'm gonna farm for Chump right now. Uh, I'm gonna jump back to base here. I feel like it'd be a little more useful. So yeah, I'm gonna... No! Are you kidding? Oh, I should have just stayed up there, man. Kill them with the chump. That's what they deserve. Um, I'm just gonna run down. I'm gonna run down. I'm gonna stay right here. There we go. Perfect. Oh! Goodness! I don't know how you got away with that earlier, though, Wolfie. That was crazy. <laughs> Oh my god. Also, hello, Doha. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Also, this is just a normal challenge. Just a normal challenge. Uh, monthly challenges are just challenges just to get as much of a, a high power as possible. So, um... <laughs> 20 to 11, dude! See, that's why it's kind of hard to use QR, because I don't usually die without getting a kill. I just, frankly, die a lot. Maybe I need to run comeback on this thing. Alright, this is the last match allow me, and then we'll reset. Rem <clears throat> excuse me, remember, um, for the challenge lobbies, uh, you can join for five matches. You cannot rejoin another one, so, uh, but you can rejoin later for PB, okay? So, even if you play in a challenge lobby, you can rejoin for PB, so you just cannot rejoin another challenge lobby, so. That way everyone gets a little bit of power. Maybe we can get something, something, you know? You never know. See? 
I was really throwing, barely even got killed. It's okay. We have our bad matches. It's okay. We did really well against the other team, though. So a, win is, a win is a win. So congrats to getting five-star Dooley Whackers. We love to see it. I know that you're getting really close, so yeah. Stop playing Stamper for like a week after trying New Squiff. Man, that weapon's so free unless I'm playing it. <laughs> yeah. I love Stamper, but man, sometimes it's a little bit dumb. Doesn't even look like they hit you, but because of how the flicks work, uh, it's always going to be a little strange. I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to spam some curling. Should have probably helped a little bit sooner. They backed up a little bit. That's H3, that's why. Also, I'm just going to warn everyone, we do have a 52 in the lobby here, so I'll let you guys know when there's a screen coming. Ugh. I wish I got the cooler a bit. We don't have cooler on our team. They did. Okay, nice stop. Very good. I'm going to sit right here. Just the brush is just going to be an annoying little pest. Yeah. Oh! Oh, the H3. You cannot. I can't get disappointed in that, man. An H3 kills me, and H3 kills me. That's fair and square, man. What is happening? I don't even know. We should have probably resetted this, though. Uh, but I'll grab it this time. We haven't grabbed the Remaker yet. Okay. They're over, like, there. Not one. Um, there's a brush. I like playing a little more passively with the Remaker. Get really, really scared. I know they have zips, so they're gonna zip to me, right? Oh shit! Yeah, they were just waiting for the zip because I wasn't able to get the kill. Yeah, I don't feel like jumping. I always get really scared when I jump, even though I have like stealth. No, goodbye, fifty-two. Let me do this. I almost have chomp, so uh, I'm gonna do this. Someone's hiding here and should be abol uh, abolished from this match here. Get out. Okay, 52 didn't even notice me. Hello. Okay, you got the H3. Someone else is here, though. Just to stop. I want to go this way, go this way, this way. The rare time that we go left. Oh my god! Get going, pop that Rainmaker. Get that check. Oh no. Oh, I wish we got the check, but I forgot. Dowsers and Glugas are not very fast in DPS. We were really close in getting that, though. Okay. We're really, really close. We just gotta get past the check. Oh! Oh, we gotta get rid of this brush, man. This brush? Absolutely slaying. Aw, oh, the stupid bubbler! Oh, I hit the wall. Oh, they're trying to get jumps in. I know there's a jump right there. Whoa, hello, Mr. Laggy. What the hell was that? Oh, they had drop roller? It didn't even look like they drop rolled on my screen. some folks here. Oh. I thought they were going to go to the right, but I couldn't see where they were going to go. Mm. Stop! It's birth 
man! I can't kill him. And we're having we're all having trouble killing him right now. Um oh, I wanted to go up here. I don't know. That remaker is too far back for us to reach. Yeah. Overall good game though. You know, we didn't get knocked out. So, you know, it's okay. I think that was what, two and three? So we won two matches, lost three. Not too bad, honestly. Not too bad. So Nova, welcome on in, hopefully doing well. I see, I heard they're making like a fifth Toy Story, it's weird. I don't know why they keep, re uh, keep making more. I think Toy Story 4 was a good ending. I didn't do that bad, but yeah, that was really tough. Really, really tough. Pretty average power. I'll take it, though. I mean, considering we did win two and lose three. Well, once again, we didn't get knocked out, and we were pretty close, so... Don't feel disappointed. This was, this was, this was good. Alright, time to reset. Let's get some new peeps in here. If the game will let us. If the game will let us. Thank you. And there we go. Toy Story 37 coming out in 2035. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, any new peeps? Feel free to join on in. Zuga sucks up close. Yep. You can kind of like use it up close. It's just really um uh interesting. <laughs> All right. Chat, should I change my weapon? Should I change my weapon? Uh, should I change? Should I go? Should I go Brella? Or should I go keep with Clash? Oh no! So get the free sixty. Oh, uh, you're close. All stamper truck. I guess I could play Stamper. I mean, nothing's stopping me from playing Stamper. The thing is, though, I can only use the, uh, I can only use the Nouveau one. Or, back in my day, they used to call it Splatana Stamper Neo. Remember that? Or Clash Neo or Four Stamper. <laughs> I'm really doing mean team. I mean, I guess we could. Oh, I need to get my QR gear. Oh no, I think this gear's fine. Eh, we can play Stamper, why not? I can use this gear. It's nice and swim speedy. It has the Ninja Squid. You don't really need QR for this, do you? I cannot use the Zipcaster one for the life of me. And plus, we're playing on, like, not really good Zipcaster maps. So, I'll, I'll just play the Nouveau one. I'm sorry for being a party pooper. <laughs> I can't use the Nouveau one. I'll play the one with the crab, though. Ah, yeah, Neo Splatana Stamper, yep. <laughs> I actually got a screenshot of, um, of the Splatana Stamper when, um, what is it? Uh, before the game updated it out. <laughs> wait, did they change, wait, did they change the card? I wonder if they changed the table throw card, I actually never looked. Did they change the card? Oh no. Anyway, I guess we're meeting with Splatanas right now. Keep in mind, I'm like really not good with Splatanas. I'm really only good with the Wiper. Specifically, the Stamp one. Oh, they did. Oh, they did. Spl Neo's better. Neo fits a lot better, doesn't it, with the weapon? But technically, it's not. It's not the Neo one. Damn. All previous mentions of Neo Stamper updated Stamper Nuvo, okay. Makes sense. Oh man. Well, I hardly know her. <laughs> yeah. So dang, whackers. 
Botana players are cool. They get to use a very cool weapon. But as a Brawl player, it is very tricky to fight against. But I'm glad that I have moved past my skill issue arc from that, and anytime I play Brawl, I'm perfectly fine. But we love we love playing Splatana because it is very silly. Alright, let's uh pop this Rainmaker. Double dread! Eel. Okay, well. Well, well, well. Okay. Oh, we're both cracking! I thought, I thought Wackers was still... I thought Wackers was holding back. I'm like, what? <laughs> no, we were both crabbing. Oh, I should have crabbed it. I should have went on the bridge and crabbed. That would have been a lot better. If I knew that, I didn't notice. Okay, reflux. What? Dude, I suck. I need to use my toxic miss more. I need to be a little more toxic. My Britain Spears, you know? Just gonna do that. Oh, they have the bubbler. Okay, I finally got a kill, guys. Are you happy? Ah, oh, red. So much object damage for what? Cannot leave that corner. Oh, I want to get. Oh, that reflux, dude. Oh no, they're gonna get the lead. Yeah. Damn. I was pushing off Sultana because I can't play it. I could have gotten so many more kills. I need to switch. Back to Clash Blaster. I cannot play this weapon. <laughs> Ugh. When is Dredge stream? I've heard of a game called Dredge, but I've not been... Uh, I've not been considering that in my lineup of streams. Nah, I'm not going Wiper. I'm sorry. I'm breaking this Swatana's team apart. I'm sorry. I'm being a party pooper. I just can't use Splatana, man. <laughs> oh, God. I'm switching back to Clash. I could have gotten a lot more kills with Clash or Brella then. I, I cannot use Splatana. Even though I was on the top of the team. But... Um... No. I'm gonna... Playtime's over. I just rely on my horizontals a lot more. One day I'm gonna do a Splatana stream. Just getting to be better at Splatana. Because I feel like mechanically I'm not really good at it. And play any other weapon class but it. I used to be really good at the beginning of the game with it because no one knew how to play it. But now that people do, I'm really bad. I still have 2022 level skill. Bad thing. Camper boot camp stream, yeah. Maybe next week, you know. And the stamp is squad departed, exactly. Yeah, we'll see. Chip shape's an F tier stage in my opinion, so bad why is it so tiny? I like a chip shape. I can understand why people don't like it though. It's definitely a taste. I feel like it's um it's it's more of a Splatoon 2 map, you either love it or you hate it. Really cannot. Cannot. There's no in between. Unless you, unless you really just don't care. Which in that case, fair. Ship shapes definitely acquired taste, though. It is a very small stage for Rainmaker, but oh no, I kind of like a uh, ship shape for Rainmaker. The only mode that I really hate on it is Clam Blitz. And that's mainly due to Kraken Cheese. Because... You can just swim forward. 
If crack and cheese didn't exist, though, Egyptian clams, I think, would be fun. Just really... The game, the, the map is made for you to just constantly fight. If you're not in your base, you have to fight people. It is kind of how it is. It's like a whole playground. When you're, uh, when you're on the playground, you know, you, uh... Anyone can get ya. Kraken single-handedly killed Clam. I really hope that at Worlds, the top teams can use Kraken and show Nintendo Kraken cheese so they can m nerf the hell out of that. Unless Nintendo doesn't care. But I really, I really hope it's true. Okay, I'm just better. Um, I think I was jumping. Yeah. Should have backed out all the way. Do you think there are ink battle coaches in Splatoon? Probably. Like, canon in the universe, probably. gonna die. I wish I got that shot, but just couldn't get it. I don't know if I want to jump. That shot has, or that stamper has a lot of... I'm just gonna go over here, actually. Hard part is, because we are queued up as a team, we might actually be uh, queued up with a team and voice call, so I just gotta be careful. It's not like solo queue where I can get away with things. People can just call out that I am on some side of the stage. And they can definitely see me, you know? Uh, you just don't have no pain on the floor right now. They got a lot of control, but they don't have any progress. They're trying to, like... Do that. Oh, they're so weak, though. Okay, we did get the zap. Oh, the double. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. There's a path just for me! Should probably wait a little bit, but it's okay. Hiding right behind the podium, I think it's a good jump. Oh, I almost got them. Oh, shoot! Dude! Oh, I hate Suka. I need to- I hate how you can hear the sound and then they, they just immediately fire, like, no reaction. They say just react until the audio cue comes up and you really can't. Oh. I don't like being up here, dude. I didn't have any pain on my feet. Ugh. Genuinely so bad for me. Which way are they gonna go? I'm gonna just stay up here, maybe? Oh, they definitely see me, though. Don't know where I want to go. I'll go over here. Snap, they're on right. Mm. Dude, I didn't even get it. Sometimes when they're too close to you, you really cannot hit a direct or an indirect. You just kind of fail. Uh, probably not a really good jump, though. Don't know if they're getting jumps in or not, and that's the the, the worrying part. I want to go in, but 
I need to protect this Rainmaker. Yeah, poke at me all you want. I'm going to stay right here. I'm being a coward on purpose. Yeah, get out. That's exactly why. I'm going to help out people. Yep, I'm going to help out people. That's exactly what I need to do. Sometimes you got to play a little bit passive with this weapon. It's okay. I'm going to go in for myself here. Nice. Trump's on the floor. Oh, the bomb. Didn't even see that, admittedly. Just kind of stall the Rainmaker. We don't need to push with it. There you go. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. The match is not over. It's in a really bad spot. Nice. So little mini welcome on in. Hopefully doing well. The pool has unlimited. You can anyone anyone can join the pool. There's no limit on the pool. However, the lobby's full right now. I'll send a note if um, when we reset lobbies, which is once we get power. Hopefully doing well. It's a little rag day. Welcome on in as well. Can you slowly turn the camera and motion controls? I want to see if the camera suddenly stops moving. Really? Guess I could do that. I really did not do that well, but. You managed to push the Rainmaker, so that's good. They brought back Bubble Lord. That could counter Kraken by just wiping out the other team via Bubbles pumping, yeah. Alright. They said turn slowly. I'm like rotating. There's really no... The movement of the camera in this game is a lot, um... A lot more seamless. There's no stop. The only time I'm stopping is because my controller can't... Because of how the controller is, I can't spin at 360 unless I put it on my desk. Limited spots in a pool would be a nightmare, yeah. Why well, is this unlimited? Though, obviously, if there's a lot of people in the pool, not everyone gets noticed, but... It's a, Imagine someone had emergency respawn kits. Like, imagine old grandpa fish looking at the local rowdy kids. Yeah. I would be unstoppable by an internet connection. Dang, what to do. Yeah, real. So this is the same team again, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Just you, whackers. Ah, I picked up the Rainmaker. Okay, I'm gonna go right this time. Oh, they have cooler! Dude, I can't hit people with cooler. The game freaks out. I wish latency wasn't like. Genuinely, in Nintendo at servers, fighting tactically would be a lot easier. I'm sure on land you could like be able to kill people, but I like goodness, dude. So we are struggling to kill this guy. Hello. I'm gonna paint it up. Yeah, nice mines, ballpoint nouveau. Oh, got the direct. Scamper's up there, though. Gotta watch it. Let me just go do that. Mm, shouldn't have fed like that. Oh, I jumped too far forward. the double direct I would have lived oh nice no I'm dead dude uh, try getting out Oh, dude, I keep jumping in really bad spots. Yeah, 
Get out. Not 70. This shot just hates me, man. I gotta be with my team more, but it's really hard to position. Gotta learn to be better at that, you know? Oh, nice! Yeah, you know where I am, Zap. Oh, they're actually getting hit. That stamper. Oh my god. I shouldn't have rushed in when stamper was there, but I don't know. Genuinely, I don't know what I would have been able to do. Oh boy, this is close. How did they direct me from that? I feel like they barely got the direct there. I somehow killed the, the, uh, the thing with the clash. Oh, close, man, close. Close matches. I am suddenly getting like really tense. Dude, I wish I didn't rush in against the Stamper. I should have waited, but... Ugh. They got that one good push off at the start, and they're like, we need our revenge. And that's what happened. Oh well. Can't win them all! Uh, yeah. That shot was just doing a lot, and that tactic was doing off for them too. We didn't do bad though. Just very, very unfortunate that we all died at the start. Whew. They won v3 and they spawned, it didn't even matter, yeah. They just kept respawning. Only one person went negative that game, That's, that shows it was a fair match, yeah. The annoying people with explosions with this one, yeah. Alright, can we get hop back in a different team, please? I love facing against the other team, right? But... Let's see if we can get someone else. There we go. We got comp dip because cooler, yeah. I can't believe Tri-Stringer Bombs used to do 28. I know, isn't it crazy that it didn't used to combo with itself? So glad that they uh, changed that. Also, speaking of cooler, we are again. But this time it's Pencil, so... It's not... I, in my personal opinion, I think Zan uh, cooler on a Pencil is a little less annoying than Zap. What is Zap's alive?
Stop that. Ugh, they got me, dude. Alright. Oh, wiper's behind, though. Oh, they missed the direct on me. That's good. Whoa! Pencil! That was whack. Okay, though. I'm gonna stop jumping in a bit because I've been jumping in a lot. And on ship shape, you just get right into the action. Sometimes you just need to oversee what's happening first. And the pencil. Ah, oh, the torp got me? Where did that come from? Crazy. A little crazy if I do say so myself. Alright. Okay, get out. It's just the pencil. Which I'm going to kill. Or at least get the assist. Oh, the double direct. Oh, the double direct. How did I live through all that? How the blob not kill me? Oh my goodness. Glad we got the check though. And we're still kicking it. Okay, not gonna jump. Getting some extra points, that's good. Okay, somehow got the direct on them even though I died before. Remember when Squiffer didn't charge the same speed in the air? I knew that was a thing. I don't actually remember that, though. I played very little Spl of Splatoon 1 and early Splatoon 2. I don't. I think the buff happened before I started playing more consistently. Oh. I'm gonna so die for this Rainmaker, but at least I got him. The Roller and the Rainmaker were trying to force me into... A very awful. Um. Okay. No. Blob is in the base there. Blob's dead, right? Yep. I have chumps. Oh, the roller was still there. Oh, they were hiding over here. Oh, the blob really get me from that? I don't know the pencil got me. Strange. I hate being there. It's a great spot for me to poke. It's just, frankly, there's just not a lot of room. Oh, they did that. No, the pen. Uh, the, the rollers up here. Oh, the blob. That blob, man. Putting paint on the floor. How dare they press the ZR button? Somehow got the check. Mm. You have 10 seconds left, so. Woo. Absolutely. Crazy matches we're having on Chip Shape Rainmaker. These are really close. I'm really surprised that we're doing this well, considering we're not even in a VC or anything. But that that's just the, the stream difference, you know? We are absolutely slaying. This is what we like to see. I 
I did nothing but hold forward with the rain. And it worked! One more match and then we'll reset. We have been almost through... We've been over halfway through the challenge. We do have like an hour left. Probably means that we're gonna get um, maybe two more lobbies in here. Um, after this match, this is when we're gonna reset. And then we're gonna be play playing some... We might play some table turf and then PVs. Looks like the same one. I love my tilting joystick sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully you're doing well, Cody. Hopefully you're doing well, even though you're very EP. For me, I turn the camera really slow. There's a point when the camera starts turning itself to the other side. Uh, it's not an in-game thing. It's probably a controller thing. That might indicate controller drift or um, your joystick just might be a little off. So, yeah. Guess who dedicated the whole week for sleep? Some cards in a card game. Wait, did you actually get it, Bads? Did you actually get the dead fish thing? Also, the same team again. Cool. On a different map, though, thankfully. Congrats. <laughs> w key gaming. Yes. Oh, they brought out this. They brought out the uh, the Neo, the sloshing machine Neo. How dare they? They have less paint on the ground this time, though. So. Oh, they jumped out. Smart. Um, frankly, I want paint on the floor, so we're gonna do this. Did I kill the roller with chomps? I'm telling y'all, killing people with chomps. I think this is a lot simpler than the actuality. Also, they were slightly around the bend, just out of my AoE. Not a very good start, though. Um, but we did get the check. Just defensively, I'm not doing so hot myself. I know you're over here. Oh, shoot. I need to fire earlier when they start approaching. That's where all those stuff happens. Okay, I got the roller. I know the wipers here. I think they fell off, though. Okay, we got the, the thing. Trying to make sure they... Don't approach the pencil. I don't think anyone's there. I think the pencil the pencil died. Yeah, I'll parry your dumb torpedo. I know the roller's over there. I'm not gonna die your stupid curling bomb. to your stamp or your shockwaves. Get out of here with that bowl. Oh, splat again? Okay, we get the lead there. Shoot. I hate this stage sometimes because of the slopes and I gotta aim a little bit differently. Ugh, so strange. I wanna drop so bad, but I really just need to stay here. And just do this. Dude. Did they direct me or what? Oh, the stamp. Stop that. How did they 
redirect me from that! Zuka is so dumb. Was I really that damaged to get the 52 uh, indirect damage? Stop. Oh, I can't be the only one defending, unfortunately, and we were just all dead. Hey, oh, ow, oh. Dude, the wiper. I would have called out the wipers right now, but points oh humpback gives me anxiety sometimes okay i'm just gonna wait here though let me just do this hang on oh, oh my god also hello crispy and so sandra welcome back from work and also hello bonzatic as well dude that was such a good match holy what a match to end off the lobby oh 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 god that was crazy. That me and that roller and that wiper. <laughs> I'm glad I took the Rainmaker and I put a leap of faith in there. Help this out. Ooh, 1916. Not bad, not bad. I believe what? That was four and one? Not too bad, not too bad. Oh no, we were three and two again. Interesting. Very nice though. Thank you for playing. Flash Blaster, Floda, PNG win. No. No, 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 not right now, not right now. I know, good games. They were, those were really close. Like we didn't we didn't get super duper knocked out or anything, so it worked. Alright. Yeah, anyone new peeps that have not played in a challenge lobby, feel free to get in here. I just sent a note of password is 4866. So get your booties on in here if you want to join. There we go. Got some peeps. Uh, and you know what? I've had my fun with Clash, so I'm going to play um, some Sorella. Sorella. Uh, because I need to practice this more. Or are we all just... All going clash. Been over. You say so, Chad. If you say so. Are we gonna go all clash now? Are we really gonna? Are we really going to do this? I'm a little scared. <laughs> I'm a little scared. Oh boy. See you later, Spider Two. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. This is going to either be the best thing or the very, very worst thing. It's okay. We have curling. It's true. We do have a tool to go in, right? Oh, boy. This is going to be crazy. <laughs> it's time. Yes. You never know. Yo, Clash, we do. Use Clash with the respawn punisher? That's wild. If we lose, don't blame me. I'm not blaming nobody. <laughs> oh, the other team. Uh, okay, they have a bow. And it just depends on how good they are, right? Okay. Hi, Red Cyan. Oh, I got a curly bomb kill. Oh, I'm so sorry, Red Cyan. Oh, 
I don't know if the arrow spray's dead. But the arrow spray is dead. want to jump. It's a really not safe jump. Yeah. No, I'm winning that fight. Oh, they reset it. They have re-slider. I'm going to watch. No, no more re-slider for you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We're all going in! We're so here! Oh, grab it. I'll get to remaining 40. That's good. Okay, we're all dead. Oh my god. Watch for any flanks, maybe. Or a reslider, you know. Oh! I, I needed to back up. this bow gone. No, I went in! I'm dead. The reciter is just going to stop us. I wonder if I can go all the way to the right. I gotta get out here. Well, I'm dead. Gotta stay focused here, gotta lock in. That bow? Come on in, how you doing? Yeah, we just moved in a lot. They managed to get around us a lot there, but it was really close. It wasn't a very easy fight for them. It's just... We just kept running in, desperate to get kills. It's okay to relax a bit, though, but... Ugh, close match regardless. Wasn't even that bad. Honestly, the chumps helped us out a lot. All as a team, they managed to get paint on the floor for us, so it was really nice. 
But yeah, not a bad match at all. Those Dooleys had to go in, that arrow spray had to go in. The bow was the one that was able to poke us out, but oh, so good though, so good. Nothing bad at all. It's a little pink Pokemon in. Obviously, it's just really nerve wracking, right? Oh. Not too bad at all. Three clashes and a roller now. Okay, if you want to switch, you want to switch. Oh my god. I might need to turn off my heater. I'm getting a little. I'm getting a little. Out of my room right now. <laughs> I, I, you know when you're locked in, when you're postured in your chair, you're leaning forward, you know, and you're getting, you are, uh, <laughs> you're leaning forward and your, your eyes are glued onto the game. Anyway, time for more class new shenanigans. Why not? I almost died to that. Ah, I knew it! I knew it was gonna run out of ink. A very good push, though. I almost completed eight spout, but got hit by a Reeslater in my last life during small snar! Dude, honestly, Reeslater on the final boss goes kind of crazy, especially if you're not prepared with any mobility chunks. Wish you uh, the best of luck in your next run there. Are they gonna use Stamp? I thought they were. Very far forward. We actually get the knockout. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. That's how it's done. You can see my chumps on the map. Almost some of the mid explosion actually is kind of funny. There we go. All it takes is to add a splat roll and it works, right? Very, very nice. Y'all won because you guys had roller? Maybe. Maybe the bubbler helped us, I don't know. Big bubbler is really fun. I love big bubbler. Annoying to fight, but very good if it's on your team, you know? Very good. God, I love Rainmaker. And just on these maps, it's just always really, really close. Especially when you're playing in like open or even like a monthly challenge like this, right? always so stinking close just never know Whew. how many matches do we have of this room any more let me see what time it is all right i believe if things if we get more knockouts the next and final lobby probably will happen with all five matches but there is a possibility that the final lobby won't get all five matches, depending on how long these are, because surprisingly, out of all the matches we played today, only two of them were knockouts. So, you know, we're actually playing the whole way through on Rainmaker, which is actually really interesting. Usually that never happens, right? Hello, Shay. Welcome in. How are you doing today? I do Pearl Marinas next because they look cute. Oh, yeah. The the the, car the new card sleeves are really cool. Right. Is this the same team again? They have an L3. I don't think so, though. Might be a different team. Oh, they see me.
Okay, there we go. Oh. Hi. Hi. I want to go up there so bad. Let's go up there. Do they know? I scanned too hard. Oh, my scanning was so off. So Stephanie, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Here we go. Oh no! The charger got me. I could have gotten the splash. All right, gotta be careful though, folks. Don't want to feed too much. Oh. He didn't get the check, so that's good. I don't know how I'm living through all this, but I'm going to take it. Rainmaker, it's so silly and fun. Oh, so fun. Okay. Rainmaker on top of the podium. Thanks for the jumps. No. Absolute bullying. Can't believe I was able just to sit in their spawn, man. Wow. Nice job. Very impressive. Y'all ate that up? Yeah, we really did. Well, something, yeah. We were able to lock them in their base. They didn't get me. Got some jumps in. I'm really surprised no one went to their little ramp area where I was hun hiding underneath. That is actually a very good defending spawn, especially, um, you know, on the right side of your base of spawn for ship shape. Very good defending platform, especially to get people off your little flat area. How's my day? My day's been going good. I actually got really good sleep last night, so I've been vibing off this energy right now. And uh, I had a good day. Played a little salmon run earlier. Uh, yeah. Never ever the remaker on top of the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Just enjoying my uh, spring break while I can, you know, just not really doing anything, just kind of doing stuff. So I know this weekend, right? Then you have the Easter. So I might hang out with some family. Actually, woke up from a nap not too long ago. Yeah. How was your nap? Did you wake up with like the, the marks on your arm or whatever? Like, you know, when you're sleeping in a position for too long, you get like... You know, it's a really good nap when you wake up with those marks. Because you're out like a light. Alright, here you go. Very, uh, decent company of a team. Lots of DPS. I don't know if we're actually going to get the Rainmaker pop unless we pop it first because we have Big Swig. We got one. All right, three of them down. Let's get going. 
Just the last one. There we go. Nice wall, though. I know they so hate me for this, but... Ugh. See, I wish Clash could kill the Fists, but I feel like you need Object Shutter for that. Which, fun fact, Object Shutter apparently works on the Triple Splashdown Fists. I don't know how well that could do, but... Ugh, they drop down. Oh, they're so weak. Oh, but I'm so weak because that's a dread. Oh, wait. Ah, there we go. See, back. Back is so good. Oh, nice. A little bit too early of chumps there, but... Managed to flank that. Managed to do that. The Ink Storm is gonna kill our Rainmaker, yeah. That stuff gets intense, man. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Playing around with this wall! Yeah, Dread is just really, really good, man. Hey, Tentacle, thank you for the raid! How was your stream? What are you streaming? What are you guys doing? Right now we're playing challenges, but we will be playing PBs and Table Turf uh, once the rotation is over, because we've been having a ton of fun with playing Rainmaker. It is the monthly challenge. Not super exciting, right? But um, genuinely really fun. We've been having some really fun matches, especially with Clash Neo, so, you know, we're vibing. Oh, we jumped out. Oh. Nice. Someone got us. I think the, uh... Let's grab this and we're just gonna run. Get some points. I know that's a little bit risky, but... And this team is just gonna keep defending and defending and defending until they can't defend no more. Probably really bad job, isn't it? Oh no, that's a heavy edit. Nice! Who is this big swig? Is this Noha right now? Oh my god. Your backs are so good. I Why is the Rainmaker why was the Rainmaker like that? You were playing private battles with only Splatoon 1 weapons. Oh. How was that? Did you feel the Splatoon 1 vibes? In Splatoon 3? I know, uh, in a couple days, next week is the final week, isn't it? Unfortunately, I don't have Splatoon 1. I played Splatoon 1. I just don't have a Wii U anymore, and I don't own Splatoon 1 anymore. Ugh, I wish my brother didn't sell my Wii U, but... What you gonna do? You could've probably gone up here. Which I'm gonna do now. Do they even know that I'm here? Nope. I'm so dead. Generally don't know how I survived for that one, but it's good. I like it when Florida said it's defending time and defending all over the place. That's what we do, right? Gotta go because we're not feeling too well physically. Oh no! I hope that you feel better, Cole. Hopefully stream was able to cheer you up a little bit, right? Appreciate uh, you for the raid. We'll get a dancing cow in here in just a minute. For those that are still gonna stick around, if you don't know me, hi, I'm Flood. I stream a lot of Splatoon. We also stream a little bit. Uh, recently, we've been doing a Pokemon Platinum this long, so, you know, we do a little variety around here, too. But hopefully, you're having a good day. Like and subscribe if you enjoy. Glad to have you join us in PVs or a challenge shortly. Um, just, uh, yeah, challenges. But yeah, thank you, Bob, Tad, and Trexy for. The, uh, coming in for the raid. Sorry, I couldn't read off your names, obviously, because we're in a match, but 
Hopefully you guys are doing well today. I am feeding. Goodbye. Yeah, I was feeding. Bad man! Oh, we cannot go down like this. They wasted the reach later, though. I could use that a little bit. Differently? I got the double. Whoa! Holy! That was a clean right by the end. I got the double and I'm like, oh my god, I died. And then my team is like, the end. The end them. <laughs> Get them out. Oh my god. Oh, thank you for uh, though Tad for coming on in for the raid. Let's celebrate. Some bad enemies, so why not, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, get some moves in the chat, or rather, get some cow emojis in the chat because Nightbot doesn't work. Oh, yeah, cow dance. Mm -hmm. Kind of are doing it. A boogie bovine's bag, yep. Alright, but yeah, there we go. Once again, thank you for the raid, though. That was also a victory dance, right? If only Splatoon had the Polish cow dance, right? Can you can you add that in? Chat, is there like a emote that's the equivalent of the cow dance that I don't know about? I feel like it's the um I feel like it's the squid and around emote or the well it's not the leader on the leader one, <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, here we go. Last match of this lobby and then we'll reset. I believe we will only be able to have a minimum of two guaranteed games in the next lobby. So I hope you guys are okay with that. For those that are wanting to join in for that. And we will be getting into the PBs here shortly. It would have been extremely funny. Three of them are dead. Oh, someone actually ran through. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't paint that for you. Being a bad teammate. Hi, Brella. Hi, Brella. Do you want to play some funny squid game? Also, someone is in mid. Someone is going to give us. <laughs> Zach bus? What? Is the, wh why is Zach on the bus? You know what? I've never been to a Zach's piece before, actually. Oh! Well, Loda feeding? Loda? More like Fida? What? Okay, this is bad. We gotta get some better kills. Okay, there you go. Ah, the Brella. The Reflux is dead, though. I saw that! Did I see that? That back snipe was crazy! I am not going to do anything here. I would have not picked that up. But you know what? We picked it up anyway. And I don't care about your shield. But you also have a little bit of range in the order, Brella. trade. We need to rush in if we can. Ugh. You know, the try sees us. How do I keep killing people with curling bomb? Oh, no, you're not. Yeah, I'm taking I'm taking you down with me. Just the try, be careful. Oh, the try's all the way back there. The wipeout, nice.
Guys, this is just a class blaster difference. Sometimes back's just like that, man. You should drop now. Oh, sorry, Bella. Oh, I didn't mean to drop like that. No! Oh, that was so bad! Hi, Brella. I don't want to face you right now. I don't care about your shield. I'll just shoot. Double chumps, you better leave that area now. <laughs> Explode, my brethren. Explode. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, shoot. Do this for Epi, I swear to God. Yes, Epi. Oh, so come on, it'll be doing well. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Mike's so dying. Hi, Brella. Goodbye, Brella. Goodbye. Okay, delayed white. Dude, we just rain chumps on the battlefield and they just cannot do anything about it. Also, hi, Brush. Oh, the chump kill. We love to see it. Here you go. Yeah, GG's. Yeah, there we go. Look at us go. Absolute wild matches, though. What do we get for our power? What? See, I hate power in this game because it's not based off of how many wins. It's also based off your rank. And if you are a low rank, you don't get as high of a power for some reason. We did so well. Ugh. Damn it. Well, can't do anything about that. But it was still fun, though. Power does not define our gameplay. I guess that was really fun. There we go. We did it. We're gaming. That's what we're doing. Yeah, there we go. All right. Get some new peeps in here if you've not played already. Uh, you're only really guaranteed like two matches, so um, I apologize if we get knockouts. You know, we get more matches, but um, X to doubt, honestly, because these games have been really close. Uh, so yeah. So let's get ready up. Actually, you know what? Considering we already have a blaster, let me switch to Brella. I can't believe, like, the, the Clash Blaster meme team kind of worked, though. Let's oh, switch my gear! Did I switch my gear? Oh, no, I did. Okay. Whew. Thought I forgot to switch. I, I, always, I always go to my freshest fit for a reason, right? Oh. Goodness. I gotta learn how to play Brella again because I've been playing a lot of Clash today. Yeah, we will be. Playing Sombrella. Still have the Clash 
muscle memory right now? Probably. You know, see that? Unity, welcome on in. Hopefully, doing well. Probably because I'm A rank, yeah. It's okay though. Like, the reason why I don't focus on powers is because of that reason, right? Like, if you play with someone that might be an A rank, you know, you might just get a lower power. It's fine, it's fine. Don't let power define you, honestly, or your matches, because we played. I felt like we should have gotten like 1900, but you just never know, right? Just unfortunate, uh, you know, I, I understand why Nintendo does it, but man, wouldn't it be cool one day someone that's like A rank gets like 1900 power, right? Like that would just be cool. Oh, come on, how did you wreck me out of the air like that? Also, backing up the Rainmaker, bad, bad, bad idea. That was not good. Um... Yeah, they kind of have a little advantage right now. I don't really like that. Yeah, they got the insta lead from that. They have triple Zuka. How stupid is that, huh? All right, make sure not to grab it. What did they... You just cannot grab the Rainmaker. Stupid machine. Get away from me. You need to wash your clothes, man. Stinking it up in here with the Neo. I need to inject stats. Dude, there's always a freaking. This machine is not liking me right now. Go this way, maybe. Just genuinely, just don't like this machine. I don't know if my weapon and I hate machine with all my life. Yeah, get me out of the air. Oh my god, this. Ugh. Yeah, get the machine. Come on. Ugh. Talk about annoying, man. Probably throw an auto bomb before going after that machine. Actually, you know what? Let me just pick this up. It's just a okay. They're all dead. Oh, I got them. Let's get it. Let's get it. Of course, the machines can be up there. Oh, should have had my shield out a little bit. Oh, not a good wipe. We didn't really get that good of a lead either. But it'll make do for now, right? So technically speaking, if they get in this corner. What challenge are we playing? Are we playing the Too Many Trizugas challenge? Got 38 from that. God, I hate Zuko with all my life. I hope they nerf his special. I need this machine to die. I don't care if I die. The machine is dead. Still winnable. I just gotta focus against these shooters, and hopefully my teammates can get the machine. I'm greedy here. That's my punch! Oh no!
Oh, we should have so pushed. I don't know what happened. Maybe someone was behind us. Oh. Not good. Now they just get the stall. Still a possibility for us. I don't know if they're losing points though. Okay. I'm gonna get a heart attack. I'm gonna get a heart attack. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought I was so like worried because we didn't get that good push in when everyone died. It seemed like someone was still poking at the Rainmaker. But oh my god, I can't believe we actually did that. Oh my god. Seven ink jets. Oh my god, I farmed so many ink jets, but oh, that machine wouldn't leave me alone. I had to. I had to. If they're gonna spam Zook, I'm gonna spam my special. Holy, that was close. Oh, good stuff, dude. And we queue. Depends on if everyone presses yes, we might be able to get in a second match. We're waiting on someone, though. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna get an extra match. Press A, press A! Keep going, keep going! I don't know what's happening. I think someone's switching their weapon. No! Press A, press A! We're not done yet! I don't know if we're- Ah, uh, yeah, people got kicked. We had to press A, man. Oh, oh well. Oh well. We uh, not everyone pressed A. It's okay. It happens. Oh, but man, chat. We did so well. How many losses did we do? One, two, three, four, five, six losses out of the. We got six losses, we got seven, eight, nine, ten victories. Wow. We did so well. Very, very nice, honestly. Oh. Genuinely so fun. Awesome. Well, that was the monthly challenge. See, I love monthly challenges because sometimes the rotations are really, really cool. Genuinely super duper fun. Oh my goodness. Yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, and we're gonna get into some... We'll do some table turf because... We've been playing a lot of ranked already. Don't want to get super duper burnt out on that. Uh, the challenge is the monthly challenge. It's Rainmaker on Humpback and Ship Shape. Overall, very decent. It's been very enjoyable. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get a table turf lobby open so we can play some of that, right? So feel free to join on in, password 4866. Uh, this is the time where, you know, if you played in a challenge match, you can rejoin uh, for these lobbies. Uh, the lobbies here and out, it's going to be three rounds and then I reset the lobby. Though I think for table turf, it might just be a little bit more chill. Um, but yeah, feel free to uh, hop on in. Uh... Chat, you know I said I got a bronze capsule before the stream? I just got another bronze capsule. I kid you not, I got a bronze capsule before the stream. And I just got another one. <laughs> Vic Fion, is this your curse on me? Huh? Vic, if you're watching, you hear this message. Do you, do you, did you, did you curse? 
to curse my uh, machine. <laughs> oh, anyway. Let's play some table turf, right? Let's have some fun. I love table turf. We get to play more of the new maps, too, so... Um, this is really exciting. I like it. But I want to see for myself about the stamper. <laughs> Big scars of bronze, yeah. I was about to say, I literally was with her, you know, uh, during the uh, the stream. Oh, it's not Splatana Stamper Neo anymore. Oh. Anyway. Oh. It's good to just hop around and just be a little silly, right? Hop around, be a little silly. And who am I going to go for today? Yeah, I'll fight Dev. Why not? Why not? Let's welcome back, JD. How you doing? Oh, man. That monthly challenge was good, though. Overall, very, very fun uh, match. Yeah, you get to pick whatever map you want. Um, for those that were wondering, I know I think Badju asked this earlier. Um, I do have... Oh, I think I have... I only got cuttlefishes and flows. Um, what is it? Uh, table turf cards. I think you were wondering. I love it. Also, you can join on in via the pool. Oh, that's not the button I want to press. Uh, all you have to do is go to the... Um, Oh, I did not get good cards to start off with. Um, all you have to do is get... Um, uh, uh, get, get in a lobby, go to the menu, go to the envelope tab, and you should be able to... Um, join in via the pool. Yeah, anyone is able to join doesn't matter how good or how bad you think you are as a player. We like to vibe around here. I really don't care. Um, because it's just fun just to play with others, you know? Yeah, I got some really bad cards. <laughs> I got some really, really bad cards. Oh, I need to get into the base stat. Oh, but he blocked me off. Yeah, it's not very good, is it? We're gonna block them off here. We are just gonna block each other off and we're gonna see what happens. Oh, so yeah, we are gonna do PBs later, yes. I just wanted to, before... Um... Before I get into PBs, I wanted to do a little bit of table turf because we just played some ranked and it gets pretty stressful. Um, I do want to try out mini games today, though. I remember the last PB stream, people were not paying attention to that. So I'll give it a shot again, but I really don't want to be that guy that's like, hey, no PBs. But for those that were here last time, you know that some people weren't being super duper, um, you know, super duper rule following. Uh, so. We'll give it another go um, in PBs. We'll do a little bit of ranked, and then we'll do a little bit of mini games as well. So if people start, you know, not being really following the rules, like, then I'll probably have to not play mini games again in PBs, which is a shame because I do like them. But I'm just gonna make that abundantly clear for everyone here. I'm not saying anyone is to blame. It's just last time it just happened, and. I don't think anyone really liked that, to be honest, so, um, yeah, just wanting to state that, um, so we don't have to deal with that again. We'll just do this. I'm at a very big disadvantage right now, okay. <sighs> but yeah. We could do this. Yeah. I could do inkjet, can I? Could technically do this. Though it is a very, very wasteful card. Let's 
It's gonna be better. 61, 73. good do, do, do. what's uh my oc's favorite aesthetics hmm. what we're talking about i don't know i really most of my oc's don't really uh most of my oc's don't really have an aesthetic other than sapphira and kai and their aesthetic is sapphira is more like like, I don't know. She's a fashion designer that likes elegance, so she likes to just be, you know, she likes wearing, she's like really fashionable, so I guess you could say that she is kind of like, I don't know, she's a fashion designer. She, she her ass egg is just being bold with her outfits, you know? She likes old tiny outfits, she likes more modern outfits as well. Ooh, this is probably the best, isn't it? 3583. Oh, this might actually be better. Sorry, hold on. I'm 2689. That's probably the best one. And for Kai, he's more of a bookworm, but he has the aesthetic of. I know just being very fancy and business casual most of the time. Very close game though, Dad. You had me in the corner. I had to really think. I don't know. I don't really think about my uh, OC aesthetics. Though, I do have some... Uh, what is it? I do have some uh, things to talk about for my OCs today. Which I've been meaning to talk about for a little while. Um, so... Flo to give a terrible description of my OCs? I'll, I'll, I'll give one after I talk about this. So I have some updates on uh, some of my OCs there. Um, so, I'll play checkers, why not? Um, for those that don't know, I do have Splatoon OCs, and I talk about them brief briefly. Um, and... In general, I like to create a story around them, right? Like, I'm not one to just create a... Um... You know, I'm not one to create a... Uh, OCs and not do anything with them. I like creating different... Um... You know, I like creating different um, stories with them. And you have the protagonists, which are, you know, trying to make a living of themselves, right? And then the antagonists, which have their own... Family struggles, if you will. <laughs> because my antagonists are either related or they are, um, you know, uh, they have personal problems. But anyway, um, they've been going through an arc recently, everyone, where, um, Marty has escaped jail because a long time ago, my OCs had a big fight in the basement of Umami Ruins and Marty got arrested for damaging historical property. And then um, I was like, OK, so what's next? And he's now angry that he wasn't able to kill his sister, Tina. Which is the other villain OC I guess I have. And yeah. And I'll show a picture of Marty here in a bit. I just gotta place this card real fast. Oh god, I am not farming special well at all. This is my yard. I am not doing so hot this game, but it's okay. Uh, 
Also, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it, it, I, I like to imagine Umami has like a tomb underneath it. So that's kind of the basement idea that I have. Obviously not super duper canon, but something that I think exists. Just a little crappy spot will come on in. I, I'm just talking about OC things here, sorry. Anyway, I'll show a picture of Marty, I guess. And I finally have figured out a new story arc for everyone. Here's Marty, by the way. He's the stupid guy with the mullet, in case you wanted to know. But yeah, anyway. Marty got out of jail. Somehow. Don't know how. He just did. And he's now hateful of Tina and hateful of my main cast of those scenes for my protagonist. So he wants to basically... Obviously, I, I've talked about this, but to keep uh, the, the, the long story short, he essentially was hired to kill his sister. Um, so that's something. Um, and he's not been successful because he wanted to be, um, you know, foolish and he wanted to be like, hey, do you want to join the Mafia with me? Because he's part of the Splatoon Mafia, you know, Splats for the Mafia, all that jazz. And he has not been very successful in doing that. And he is low key. Um, he's low key made a fool of himself and he wants redemption. And his mafia isn't really liking him anymore. And he's on the verge of getting uh, his throat slit, you know, his neck, ugh, you know, like he's dead on the floor. So, you know, he's very close to that. What does Tina look like? I will show you right now, actually. I'll actually show you with some fan art. I can find it. I can find some fan art. Tina right now. There's some really good fan art that I wanted to post. Um, but I have not been able to. Because I have been lazy in changing my fan art section of the stream. I'll just do this. Let me get some fan art, actually. Bonnie drew this, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, it's this one as well. So, so here's what Tina looks like, I guess. I can just do this. There we go. Oh, jump scare. Nope. Oh God, I gotta play the game, hold on. I don't know if I'm gonna win though. I don't know. Hold on, let me let me make the image smaller. Yeah, I didn't win. Close game though, Joseph. Here's what Tina looks like. She has angel wings. Isn't she cool? I love Tina. This is like one of the very... Uh, the only images where she's pictured have two wings because she used to have only one. But now she has two, so that's pretty cool. So yeah. You know, that's what she is. She uh, synthetically ha uh, had wings. So that's pretty cool. Horse biblically accurate, Tina? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Tina and Marty, they kind of hate each other. Um, anyway, Marty wanted to go back to his roots. And I recently have thought of this, right? He obviously got into the mafia via his dad. He originally wasn't someone that was a con artist, which he wanted to be, but he used to be a hacker. He used to be like the programmer manager of his mafia, because obviously people, they have to communicate somehow, they want to hack computers, they want to like undermine people, you know? So he was a hacker. And that's obviously, you know, if you look at his thing right now, you know, he does look like a nerd, right? So, like, you can clearly tell, you know, he's gonna have the nerdy, nerdy vibe. But anyway, instead of trying to con people and just ruin people's lives, he wants to make a simulation where he can essentially kill people in without anyone knowing. 
And this is how we tie in side order. I talked about this, I think, where I wanted to have side order um, be a part of my story. And it's not quite side order, but it is quite, um, you know, it's, um, you know, it's going to be a part. Uh, but essentially, Marty was able to somehow find files of Marina's side order program. And he was able to copy some of those files over here. And, and I don't know exactly where he gets them from. But he gets them from somewhere. Probably just hacking them over the internet or just conveniently finding them. And he was able to copy room files from Marina's side order program before she even initiated the program. But they were obviously going to be corrupting and corrupting because of all the side order shenanigans. So it's pretty straightforward. What happens is he tries to create a simulation to trap uh, Tina in. And he creates a room where he can fight Tina and automatically win. Or at least he thinks. He doesn't actually bug test this program. So there's a lot of bugs in this program. And I'll, it'll show up later. Because in order to get Tina into the program in general, he has to fight her in the actual world itself. Uh, he has the hacker jacket outfit, right? And he with his power glove on the hacker jacket, if you know what that looks like. He's able to tap buttons and summon people into the simulation. They have to be within a certain radius of him in order to be within uh, the, the simulation. So yeah, you, uh, Marty had to encounter Tina and fight her in the desert again. But this time he doesn't go unarmed. He has now a stamper instead of a wiper because he used Splatana White for the first time, so he used a little bit of a stronger, um, you know, weapon. And then he um, has made illegal specials, because if you don't know, Tina is a illegal special weapon engineer where she creates her own little, you know, big boom boom specials. So, you know, he has a Zipcaster that can go super fast in the air and spawn multiple arms. He has a crab tank that has infinite DPS, like it fires for a really short period of time, but it like super duper DPS. Um, he also has um, an enhanced splatter color screen where he can summon down Will and push it um, through the air and uh, paralyze people for a split second. And he also has um, a Booyah Bomb that can shoot Booyah Bombs like Killer Rails, so it's really weird. So yeah, he, he's kind of loaded with all uh, the, 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 the illegal specials alongside his sister because, you know, Tina and uh, Marty, they, they need to the battle it out on even terms. Do I have enough? I don't know if I have enough. Here. Sorry, I have to focus here. I'm gonna lose. But anyway, um, I like do this. Could do that. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Anyway, um. So Tina and Marty fight in the desert with, uh, you know, super loaded weapons. And Tina, uh, it's pretty even, right? Because they both have illegal specials and of equal power and prowess. And he was able to suck Tina into this program. However, he could have technically killed Tina right on the spot because she was super weak, but he wanted to put her into the program because she was about to fly away, essentially. She was about to... Uh, Super jump away, essentially, from the fight. So yeah, Tina, Tina, you know, almost died, but she got sucked into the simulation. But the here's where the bug comes in. 
The room that he wanted to fight Tina in was a uh, it was a copy of the room file of the vending machine room. He deleted the vending machine. He deleted all the uh, occurring assets, and he just plugged in this own arena like thing. But if you don't know anything about the vending machine room, uh, you can't die in the vending machine room. You can't die in the vending machine room, so... Marty essentially fights Tina with all these super duper special weapons and no one takes damage. <laughs> No one takes damage! So it's essentially a purgatory. Um, so... Yeah, you can use specials and stuff! But it's not like it's gonna work! <laughs> because... You can't do damage! Um, so yeah, that's something that happens. So yeah, he's essentially stuck in this purgatory, but there is more to the story that meets the eye. Obviously, um, Marty is not alone in this simulation. He is, in fact, with Eb. And for those that don't know who Eb is, a long time ago, I made this alter ego OC of my OC flow named Eb. And he is technically dead. <laughs> he is technically dead, guys. And he's just the alter ego of Flo that was created from Flo's thoughts and it's a whole tedious process but that's all you really need to know about that basically because Marty knew Flo enough he was able to gather data on his alter ego and basically reassemble him within this virtual reality this simulation and basically um an alter ego of Flo is fighting with Marty against Tina Obviously doing no damage because no one's able to do any. However, there's a catch. Eb cannot exist in the virtual reality without a host. And of course, because Eb comes from Flo, Flo gets sucked into the simulation. So one day on leap year, uh, the leap day, um, 2-29, uh, Flo was basically vanished out of thin air. His sea cucumber phone only being left. And he was playing a table turf match against Flo, uh, Fang. Which, if you don't know who Fang is, you should check my banner. He's the purple inkling. And he starts crying because, you know, Flo and Fang are partners. And he just randomly just peered, and there was nowhere to be found. Obviously, his friends were here there. Jessica, Sapphira, and Avery were there. Briella seemingly absent. For those that know who those OCs are, you'll know. Uh, but those are just important characters to know. I can show them and what they look like soon. For those that may not know, because I should probably be showing those more. I assume people know what I'm talking about, even though it's probably not the case. But anyway. Um... So, yeah, Flo disappears into this virtual reality and Fang doesn't know, and he starts freaking out, and then everyone else freaks out because where the hell did our friend go? And so then they go to the cafe, which I forgot what the name was. I forgot what the name of the cafe was. Hold on, I gotta pull it up. Cyphotica Cafe, which Kai works at. One of my other OCs, and Donnie is there as well. I forgot what the name was, though. Uh... Let's see... The Coral Cafe! That's what it was called. Very basic name, but I was pretty proud of it. So they went to the Coral Cafe where... I works. And they, you know, Kai is a bookworm. He's knowledgeable. He's the smartest out of all of them. So they wanted to see if he had any ideas of where he might have been. They researched for a little bit. Couldn't really find anything. But Donnie... Donnie, who's my jellyfish OC, suggested that they looked on their phones because the only thing left was his phone on the floor. And it turns out there was when you debugged the phone, 
which Donnie knew how to do because back in college he was able to hack computers and stuff because, you know, Donnie's that cool, you know, jellyfish uncle that has done everything in life because he's just a crazy good, cool dude. And, um... They found these, like, files that were hacked onto their phones, which Marty put on. They're on their phones! Somehow he was able to hack into my OC's phones and put uh, files of his simulation in them without anyone's consent, of course, because it's Marty. If you're a bad guy, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, um, that happens. And then they are able to activate these files themselves and get dragged into the simulation in order to save Flo. Flo in the simulation is in a separate room. He's in a control room. He has the controller VM on, the virtual boy little kind of thing that Marina had going on. And he's basically stuck there, hanging from the ceiling from the cords that are holding the controller together. And he's basically locked into place and he can't get out. And he's basically brainwashed into controlling this puppet ebb inside the virtual simulation. So then Fang and everyone else enters the simulation. Finally, I really want to get an extra special here. I'm trying to figure out where the hell I want to place this, but I cannot place this in a really good spot. So I'll just place it here. Anyway, um, okay, that was actually really good. Um, so yeah, they enter the Do they not have enough special? Oh, snap. They don't have any special either, so we're, we're fine. But yeah. Uh, let me read off this thing here because I'm losing my train of thought here with the, 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 the table turf. I'm also going to reset a lot because I just realized I did four matches, just in case anyone new wants to get in. Yeah, he was able to get into the simulation and... They arrived into the simulation in a different area than Flo, right? They arrived in some other rooms that were not originally programmed in simulation, but um, they were testing rooms for Marty to get things going. So, Fang and friends encounter a pallet on the floor. And they don't know who the pallet's for, but it is a pallet and they grab it, because obviously the pallet tells them exactly what floors they need to get, what chips they need to get, all that sort of stuff. So they go up different floors and they get... These are really easy floors. They're all set to easy. They're all the easy floors that you know and love in Side Order. And they have their weapons with them, so it's okay. Um, so yeah, they go to the first floor and they get a yellow palette chip. Color chip. And then the second one was purple. And then pink and then blue and then teal. And then the sixth one was the orange chip. And they're all the colors of my OCs. You uh, know, you know. And the orange floor was the final floor. And also, by the way, you guys can rejoin if you like. I just want to see if anyone new wants to join on in here. So feel free to join on in. Password's 4866, of course. Join into the pool. Let me just get another note of here. Yeah, uh, so Fang and friends end up in this final floor that's a liminal space. You know, if you ever seen liminal spaces and you see like the pool, like the pool looking ones where it's just like blue tile and just water on the floor. So they arrive at this floor and then they see Briella. But it's not the Briella that you know and love. Um, it is a very tall, lanky, husk version of Briella, which I'll show Briella right now, uh, because I forgot that I can show that. So here's Briella. Let me just make the image a little larger. So that's who she looks like. And she has her natural hair out, if you see in the corner. It's a really blurry image, I'm sorry. But she has the... Uh, what is it? The natural hair. And she's sitting in the middle of the room. Also, you guys can rejoin if you like, if you were in the previous one. I'll sit down. Wait for something. Um. 
And yeah, she's in the middle of the room, and she's like this, like, she's personified as this, like, really tall husk. Like, she looks bony, obviously you can't have bones in Splatoon, but she looks like a corpse, essentially, in the middle of this slight pool of water. And they can't recognize her at first, um, because obviously, she looks completely different. Turns out this room is her mind space. It's not actually her physically, but it's her mind space. And basically, this signifies that Briella is losing herself. And she's slowly drying out. She's slowly... She's in her depression era, if you want to be real. So... Yeah! And they approach her, and then the palette breaks. Because the palette is actually her palette. And Ping and friends are like, why are you here? Who are you? And then she starts, like, going into temper tantrum mode. Because this is her mind space. This is what she really thinks instead of putting on a person, uh, you know, a personified personality or whatever in the real world. Because she has imposter syndrome and puts on a persona to hide all of her backstory. She doesn't talk about herself in a very positive light. And essentially, she's just bound to this room. She doesn't want to leave this world of order that has been in place for her for so long. And then they're forced to leave the room. So before they enter the control room to save Flo, they encounter Briella. And um, yeah, so it's a little bit weird how the interaction is. I don't actually know how exactly it goes down, but essentially Avery mentions something because Avery and Briella are besties. And they mention something and that causes her to get really, uh, uh, Briella to get really pissed. And then they're forced to leave the room because she, uh, is causing the room to shake and crumble under its, uh, everyone's feet. But then they finally get into the control room. And with Fang's duelies, he was able to run at Flo, who was clearly possessed by this controller thing hanging from the ceiling. Jessica was able to use her dynamo to slash some of the wires off. Sapphire was able to snipe the controller off of Flo's face. And Avery was able to use this Splatana to slash all the wires away. And it ended really quickly, even though there was a defense system. But like I said, Marty did not bug test it. So they were able to hack and slash their way through and save Flo. And that's how, that's what happens. And Fang was able to triple splash down. But instead of splashing down, he was able to catch Flo out of the air and go through the ceiling, destroying the room, destroying the virtual simulation. And they managed to leave safe and sound. Um... And then Fang gives Flo a little smooch. And yeah, because of course, side order being as fruity as it is, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta add that into your own story too, especially if it's related to that. So that's what happens. It's very wholesome and everything is fine. However, when it comes to Marty, uh, Marty and Tina were violently thrown out of the simulation. Um, Marty woke up because he was on the desert sand, passed out after the fight from Tina. But Tina's nowhere to be found. She was in the simulation, but she never, she didn't go back to where she was. She wasn't in the desert where she should have been after they came out of the simulation. And that's it. So the TLDR. Marty tries to kill his sister again and fails. Uh, and then, in order to stop the simulation from occurring, Flo was saved by Fang and the besties. And that's what happened. So yeah, all I'm saying is that Tina's still alive. She's not dead. But, um, yeah, she's kind of... 
in an unknown location that I don't know. And Marty... Uh... Yeah, Marty is, uh, at risk of literally his mafia literally killing him. So yeah, he kind of fails his mission. And he's really mad. Because all of his technology is program is destroyed and um he's not able to perform any more stuff and he's kind of a failure at this point in time so yeah <laughs> so yeah, he's kind of failing and that is the story i know that was really long but this is probably the longest idea that i've had and i wanted to do a side order story involving both parties. They don't actually get to meet up for once. Just one party is infiltrating behind the scenes. And another party is just being a failure. Very, very slow. I know I'm not going to win this. So GG's Rag Day. Um, but that's it. So that's all I've had. And it's a nice conclusion to everything, but it also has room to, like, add more stuff. Like, where did Tina go? What does Marty do next? How does Flo and friends develop further? And that's something we'll, I'll have to do in the future, especially since I have uh, Donnie and Kai, some of my newer OCs. And they're very cool. Anyway, I do want to show off all my other OCs here that people might not know. Um, so let me just quickly do that. I didn't mean to press yes. You can you press stop. Oh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to play another one. I, I accidentally pressed the wrong one. But here's my first one. Obviously, everyone knows who this guy is. This little goofball. This little. This guy. This guy, who is this guy? Who is this guy? So yeah, you have Flo. And then you have... Also, I'm going to forfeit this match here because I didn't want to... I didn't want to play this. Who is that? I know. Good question. He looks familiar. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give up. I'm sorry. Being a party pooper. You also have Fang here. He's a little goober. He loves his triple splashdown on parry. He's using on parry main. Or end parry main. Sorry. I should not be saying on parry. That's the wrong way to say it. it does sound kind of fancy though. He looks like he's on the screen. Yeah. Um, next you have Jessica. Who is our girl boss lesbian. She's very cool. I'm very still very happy about how... Um, how well the uh, Photoshop looks with her glasses and the hat. And then you have... Uh... Sapphira here. Who is our girl boss who wears dresses like that. Also, this OC template was made by Bunny on my Discord server. I was allowed to use it, so... But it's very easy to make one. I'm sure if you just go into Photoshop and just... Or go into your art program and draw it, you know, you're able to do stuff. It's pretty cool. But I did not make it myself, though. So yeah, we have Sapphira. I showed you Tina and Marty. And here's Avery. Here's Avery here. Avery, our cool Splatana main. He's, uh, they're very cool. And then I already showed you Briella. And we have Kai here. He's our little barista. He's very cool. He's our very cool barista. And then here's Donna. Our lovely... Our lovely jellyfish office worker who is a crazy cool dad. He's a dad of nine, I think, right? Yeah, he has nine children. He's an overworked office worker, and he's very silly. So those are all my OCs for anyone that doesn't know. Um, obviously, you can 
pause the stream if you wanted to look at all the bio related things. Um so yeah, it's very uh, it's very cool. Yeah, he has nine children. See, Donnie is one of my favorite OCs that I'm developing currently with his backstory. Because he's supposed to be that cool dad or uncle that's done everything in his in their entire life. Like he was that dude in high school that did random things. He had he was a part of a band. He married his high school sweetheart. He partied all day at night at college. He uh probably met a celebrity. Um he's done it all. He's done it all. So yeah. He is uh He's just that guy. You know? He's that uncle that tells you crazy stories that he climbed in the Grand Canyon, or, you know, he's almost been, he, you know, he piloted an airplane, like, he's done it all. You name some random thing, and he probably done it. So I wonder who's slow, because it looks like he's on screen with a mysterious voice talks. <laughs> I know, right? Isn't it crazy? Yeah. I was counting, I lost how many you have, I personally have like 13. Yeah, I have nine. I have, uh, let me see, I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cephal like, I have ten main OCs. And then I have little salmonid OCs. I have one, I have my little buddy who's named Flappers. I have Marty's little, little buddy named Philly. And I also have a mud mouth named Meth. That's the actual name. And the reason why it's named that is because it's not a Breaking Bad reference. It's because I accidentally said Meth Mouth instead of Mud Mouth in a VC once, and it just kind of stuck. Has he gone skydiving and bungee jumping? Yes. Yeah. I technically have 13 OCs, if you want to be specific. Not creating any more, because I feel very content. And, yeah. It's very cool. Yeah, I do have silly OCs. I really do. And they're very, very cool. I don't... I have waves of inspiration when it comes to them. I don't always have inspiration for them, but they're living, breathing creatures. And I only have one dead OC, which is Ebb, who can be recreated in virtual reality anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> We're being real here. You're literally describing my dad, he even had a fan club in college with your jellyfish OC. Yep. Yeah, we love, we love Donnie. He's the craziest OC. Because, like, I like to limit myself and, like, make them personal, right? Like, Flo is literally kind of just me inserted in the Splatoon universe, but not really. He has his own life, but he has a similar personality to me. And you have, um... You know, Fang, who's kind of like an artist. Um, Jessica, who used to be a millionaire, but isn't because she hated her family, so she's just kind of a manager girl fail. And then you have Sapphire, who's like the girl boss fashion designer and stuff. So I like to keep things, you know, pretty basic. But Donnie is like, he's an office worker, but he did this random thing, but he did this other thing. Instead of there being like a large backstory and being like, this guy was depressed or, you know, this guy has personal personality traits. Donnie is like that random ass guy that does random ass things. And it's okay because it's pretty cool. <laughs> I got people like that one though. So he's he's one of my favorites, even though I don't have favorites. We uh we do appreciate him a lot, right? Uh, I'm making really bad plays tonight. I'm not doing so hot. I'm not doing so hot at all. I'm just gonna place this here and then I think we'll do the special card is Marty the biggest hater? he is the biggest hater he's the one that wants to kill his sister and he used to be friends with the protagonists that I recently just discussed and then uh, he turned out to be evil and everyone hates him now for good reason though for good reason but for some reason he's one of my most popular OCs out of all of them People love him on my Discord server, even in, in my YouTube chat. People just love him. Don't know why, but here we are. He is the hate yet. 
I'm getting Donnie just exists from this, yes. You ever give your OC traits personality quirks are based on you? Do that, yeah. Flo's, like I said, Flo's kind of me. Bang is kind of my more introverted personality. Jessica's kind of the... Well, I don't know, Jessica's not really super... Like... Lodified. Not really, Sapphire isn't either. Flo and Fang are mostly like me. Brielle is kind of like me. Um, obviously her character is more derogatorily based and not really about... She has struggles that I can relate to, but my personality is not like hers at all. Um, yeah, I kind of, I kind of disperse them. So it's kind of different. Anyway, let's play some PBs. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get some PBs in here. Feel free to join into the pool, how to join in. You go to this envelope tab, you press the plus button, and you join this pool here. And you should see me in the notice tab. We'll do three rounds per lobby, and then we'll reset. You can wait a little bit before rejoining. At least wait out one lobby. I don't know how many people are here, obviously. Um, so, yeah, we just kind of vibe. We do our own thing. We have fun. Uh, before we get started, though, I do want to... Um... I do want to get some water because I'm feeling a little lightheaded right now. We're going to do a couple of real matches first. We're going to do some ranked and then we're going to do some mini games because I haven't done those in a little while and I really want to do those. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So feel free to join on in for some good old PBs. We're going to get them started in here. And then we'll get going we'll do mini games probably in the next lobby maybe i don't know we'll have to see um but i'll put up the brb screen real fast because i will be right back with some water and maybe some snacks i don't know
Who put into the light and on the thing? I'm gonna start crying. Anyway, I'm back, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone got some, uh, something to eat, some of the drink. Got some crackers. I'm just eating them. Um. Hi guys. Um. Hello. <laughs> um. Hi! <laughs> join the line! Yes, join the line! This is such a vibe. Such a vibe. And, uh, <laughs> you just come back to a whole line. The line for PBs, you know? Hmm. Alright. Uh, Here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, never mind. I was gonna do something, but it was a bad idea. Anyway, I'll go ahead and spec you a don't I saw that you wanted to get specced. Three rounds per lobby, then we'll reset! That's how things are gonna go. So let's get going. Oh! Wrong weapon. There you go. It's some good old clash. This is not a clash blaster. Floda. It might be red, but it's not a clash blaster. Sorry, anyway. Let me get some pencil out here because it is zones. Yes, here's my five. You know, I have five stored charges in my clash blaster. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, we're gonna do some normal games, and then I think the next lobby will start some mini games because it's been a while since we've done some. And like I said earlier, I hope people follow the rules this time. Um, just had a couple people ruin the rules last time. So long as everyone plays by the rules for the mini games. We'll have a good time, right? Okay, there we go. So, dang, Iridesce. I know, right? I don't know who played Into the Light, but... My heart strings. I cry. But yeah. What do you do? What are you doing well, by the way, Iridesce? Good to see you. Oh! Someone poofed out of existence. Well, <laughs> name red weapons. We have the Dooley Squelchers, we have the Pencil, we have Clash. Heavy edits a little red. Um, Custom Leader. Um, Hmm. Dapples are red. I'm trying to think of what else is red. Hydra? Carbon? I should not be looking at chat. I cheated. I guess the uh, range blaster counts. Uh, the uh, normal blasters count. Hmm. Let's check. I'm actually curious. One, two, three. Yeah, is this an orange or is this a red? Hmm. Is squeezer orange or I feel like that's an orange? Is it red? I guess it is. It's not as rich in the red color, though. It's a lot more red-orange. But it's still red. Okay. 
We have... Oh, CNF! That's... But that... Isn't that... Is that a red-orange? I feel like it's more orange. Am I going crazy? Is CNF orange? Or is it red? Oh. There's a lot of red weapons. That's pink. That's red. We have a little bit of red on the Dalder. Red. Julius, uh... These are more pink, the light Tetras. Blings is red. Rapid Blasters. Definitely red. Nova's a little bit red. So we got the fake Beyond in here. Anyway. I'm not playing Squeezer, I'm playing... Oh, Pencil! Let's keep going. Also, who has a banger side order music on right now? Wait, chat, do you guys see the side order concept art? Hold up. Do you guys see the side order concept art? Oh, I gotta show this. Side order concept art. Do you guys see it? They had the, there was this interview the other day that the developers did, and it showed concept art for side order. So you got like stuff like this, and this is like concept art. So this is like not really can anymore, but some of this concept art looks really good. You got some. Something like this. You got Parallel Cannon, which is confirmed to be Agent Force kind of skills. Um, and you got a variety of other ones. Those are just the more interesting ones. You also have Deadfish here. Which this might be a little bit of spoilers, so look away for just a couple seconds. But then you get Deadfish. Get to see the whole concept art around that, so it's really cool. Genuinely awesome. So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty cool, right? I also just really want to it also makes me really jealous that we could have gotten a um we could have gotten a long optiling hairstyle. And I've mentioned this before, but I really wish that we've gotten one. Because those are genuinely, oh, we need a long octoling hairstyle. I've said this before, but even if it's just a longer rendition of another one, right? I genuinely want it to happen. Like, please. I want to... Ugh. God. Imagine we had a flow palette, yeah. Nintendo continues to piss me off with a haircut. I know! Like, I don't mind the other changes, right? But I really wish they would just give Octolings long ass hair. It's not fair. Not like I'll change to it myself. Because I like my afro in this game. But I genuinely just want... I just want to, uh... Oh, there's a blacker. Just genuinely want to, uh... Have long hair! Like, Inklings get these really cool hairstyles, and Octolings just have a couple less hairstyles. 
If they ever update site order, really hope that they can, um, in the future, add new hairstyles to the Octolings. This makes a lot of sense, really. I'm gonna jump out. Ah. I'm getting a little risky here. Also, that's pretty cool here, does. I didn't even realize that. But now that you're saying that, it makes perfect sense. So cool on how much stuff they put into Splatoon, right? Such as long octoling hairstyle. Sam. Maybe one day. They should definitely have a hairstyle that, that resembles the uh, rival one. I understand why they don't have the rival hairstyle, but damn, it would be cool if there was a hairstyle like it, you know? And I know some of the headgear looks could be a little weird with it, but... I just really want it. Oh, I'm so dead. Yeah. One day. So sorry if I was in the middle of my sentence. I'm eating right now. I'm hungry. <laughs> it's probably why I'm doing really bad too. Ugh, can't paint the zone for shit! I'm dead. God damn it. I'm doing so bad though. Oh my god, did we just win? That was so intense, bro! I failed so badly, I got so carried by my team. Wow. That was crazy. I did nothing. <laughs> Goodness. See you later, Stephanie. Alright, that was good. Hello, Electric Embers. Welcome on in. My rain in the competitive mode is C minus four. Never let me play again. Okay, you got this. I believe in you. Alright, I'm gonna unspec uh Adonai here. Ew! Why Flutter Heights tower control of all things, huh? Why? I did horrible 13 deaths. It's okay. Oh my god, man. Seven triple splashdowns on Explo? I'm telling you guys, custom Explo is actually underrated. More people need to play it. 
Anyway, I'm just I'm gonna be the most annoying person on the planet here. Wonder if I need to add some sub saver. I my curly bomb a lot. Also, chat, did you know that unconscious it was uh spelled with the S before the patch was actually misspelling? <laughs> They did unconscious, but after the UN, it was S. It was really weird. Well. Hello, Shiver. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Alright. It's time to go in and be silly. My Clash Blaster. Okay. Chat, if you hate me, I don't blame you. I really don't. Am I gonna be the one writing tower? I guess I will. Let me just do that first. <sighs> I love Wander Heights tower control, guys. Do you guys like Flounder Tower Control? Because I do. Not! This map mode is hideous. Why is it not... Can't you believe in Splatoon 1 they had a better tower path than Splatoon 3? They used to have a, um, a tower path going underneath this mid area. The tower used to be under here. It used to be a tall tower. It used to go like this. Go this way. Go this way. And then it would go into your base. But it would go like here. And then it would go up here. To actually be able to use your left side. But not in this game. Mm -mm -mm. Got to make your snipe area even more useless, right? I genuinely wouldn't be surprised if Flounder did get a rework because, oh, Flounder needs to be like Flakam 1. Oh, nice. Chat, we, should we play another tower control game, or should we just move on? We're gonna redo tower control. That match didn't count. Let's play in a real tower control match. Alright, I'm done eating my crackers though, so I can stop munching and crunching if you even heard that. Ugh! hear me gulping water. Ugh. Sorry about that. If you hear me eating or drinking water, it's not on purpose, guys. But I do apologize for the ASMR for people that don't like it. I feel like Eel Tail or Brine Water might be reworked. Probably. If we're being real here, probably. I would put my bets on Eel Tail being reworked, though. Knowing Nintendo, they could probably just... They could probably just do Brine Water. But I don't know how they would rework Brine Water, you know? Considering how their reworks are more like facelifts instead of like adding a whole new stuff. Uh, a bunch of stuff on the map. I really don't know, man. I feel like widening Eel Tail and adding more routes or just widening Eel Tail to being a little bit more playable would be a little bit easier for them, but who knows? Maybe they'll do something in Brian Water that we might not think of. Load up, Mukbang. All right, here we go. I don't know what they're gonna do. Though we do have a couple weeks till the, uh, the mid-season patch, which is kind of crazy to think about. 
And for those that are not in the know, on April 13th, I believe, on that Saturday, if I remember correctly, um, uh, the Splatoon 3 World Championships will be happening. Um, I might do a watch party of that. Um, I'm not really a competitive player, as you know, but um, depending on how early or late it is, I might stream my reaction of it. Um, so we can all watch it together because um, it is a very, very cool event that's going to happen where all the top teams in the world get to meet up and get to see who's the best out of them all. So you never know. Um, so yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we vibe though. Oh, and the hydrant right there. And I died of chumps. <laughs> you know, our team doesn't have any range. I'm not expecting us to win here, but... Ugh, feels bad, man. But Hydra can just sit there and... do everything. Dude, I... We have no range! We're triple clash! I should have changed, man. I'm dying so many times. Then we can pressure this Hydra to get off. Dude, we are bullying this Hydra. God, there's so much happening. Oh, yeah, Kochian is happening. It's pretty cool. I think, believe that's the Turf War event, right? Climb up here because Kraken, Kraken's biggest biggest weakness in this game is verticality. Not really good. I don't know if I want to flank. Worth a shot. Uh, I tried. We have to wipe, though, if we want to get a good lead. No chance. So this is your favorite map for turf? Museum is really cool. We love, we love museum. I love museum. Oh, the auto bomb. Just the one cracking, though. Jump here. No. Ugh. Should have been more patient. Water beacons on the map. So, little subspace, welcome on in. Yeah, there's going to be re uh, reruns of challenges next week. Um, so, it's going to be pretty awesome. No, nope, I'm going to win this fight. Hydra's not going to kill me. Oh, got the trade, but man, we just don't have range. Yuck. We just gotta get a really, really good lead. Oh, someone just jumped there. Yeah, nice try. I'll get the trade on that. Oh, so yeah, I can't wait to play high jump as well. They haven't re-ran high jump in so long. I wish they did on different stages. So yeah. Yeah, the rollers. Uh. Damn. Oh.
How did I die? The Hydra, wow. Oh, so yeah, we have Triple Clash. We were not going to win that. Not with Hydra's on the other team. Nuh uh. Outranged and rollers. Not our best matchup. So, yeah. This weapon sucks. Yep. That's Clash. But at the same time, three other people are on Clash, so don't, don't blame yourself. Just a comp moment. I'm already watching a Japanese Splatoon 3 tournament right now. Yeah, there is one. I think Splatfest, Springfest will be on April 19th to 21st. Maybe. We'll have to see. They're definitely not going to do it on World's Weekend. I'd be really shocked if they did. Anyway, one more match and then we'll reset here. Get some new peeps. To one I already spec, so I'll just spec the next folks. Lots of museum today, huh? Well, it's a museum today. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna play some uh, Expo. I'm gonna play some Expo. Must uh, the fake me on is already playing Expo. In that case, I might have to switch. Probably gonna switch. What sport would be popular for Inklings and Octolings? Oh no! That's a good question. What sports would they have? Especially because they're a new society, right? I don't know what they would have. But, 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 but double scribbles blast down. Nah. We're already going double pain brush, so I don't, don't want to do that. Soccer, but the ball is lethal. Maybe. Soccer, I feel like, would be a good one. I mean, considering it is like an international sport, it would probably make the most sense, right? They could do curling. That's a good. That's a good idea too. I'm sure they would do curling with the curling moms. Ooh. Tennis? They could do tennis. It's always a possibility. Nice. Someone was out of ink moment. I'll be careful, Clash. Here we go. Out of the roller. Nice push. Want to say this professional tag? That would be cool. I would love to see professional tag happen, you know? Oh, I got the auto bomb kill. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Oh my god. I forgot I made Sorella Brella. Like, sometimes I really do just forget. Holy. <laughs> Don't you forget, like, when you play different weapons for a little bit and you're like, man, I want to go back to my main. And then, and then you just surprise yourself. Because that's just what I'm doing right now. I'm surprising myself. Ah, oh, cracking. Stinky cracking. We got the really weird thing though happening. Can I win this? Do they not see me? I don't know if they do. 
looking at an ambush right now. Oh. I didn't kill anyone. They just ignored me too. We, we do be a little silly. Ah. Who's that? Is that the forge? Oh, it's the roller. Hi. Oh my god. Go forward. Go forward. Uh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> the Kraken, they were ready. Their mouth was watering for that kill. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Synchronized super jumping. That would be cool. That would be a cool sport. Oh, shit. Hmm. Put too much time clawing out of the grave that it's anything below Overachiever and Briscoe. Are really fun, honestly. Why do you have fun with that? Big runs are super duper fun. We love it. Um, I'll just heal. Mm. I'm not going to pick that up because... Got the light. Oh, they see me though. Or oh, they don't. Sometimes we forget Clash has a bomb. I'm going to die from the Clash. There you go, nice. See you later, Stephanie. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great rest of your night. You know what? Considering what the hell they ate eating contests would probably be somewhat big. Oh, yeah! Oh, man. Now I'm really hungry. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's see how many splash outs I got. <laughs> we'll have to see. That was a good match, GG's. Let's Oh. My. Ten splashdowns! On custom expo? What? How is that possible? Oh my god, anyway. For anyone that's not been in the lobby already. Um Join on in. For those that want to rejoin, halt for just a moment. I want to get some new peeps in first, and then you guys can rejoin. So I'll let you know when you guys can. Holy cow. I didn't I didn't expect to get 24. Oh my god. That was crazy. Goodness. The no strings attached emote reminds me of NSYNC's music video for Bye Bye Bye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, feel free to join on in. I believe I've already sent the invite. This is the lobby where we are going to do mini games. So. If you want to join in for some m -m -m mini games? This is your time to do so as well. Uh, for those that are not in the loop, mini games are custom game modes where um, you 
uh, we get to play silly alternative games in the game. I don't know. <laughs> Mini games are just cool little things that we like doing, and they're very fun. And people from previous lobbies can rejoin if they like. Uh, so yeah. Feel free to hop on in. Also, is that the real Jack or is someone just posing? I think we have some imposters because someone else is named Flota. That's a fake Jack, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, no other content creators usually join me on my stream. Anyway. Let's play some cool games, shall we? First game that we're going to play is a classic called Laser Tag. Laser Tag is chargers only, no subs or specials, and the name of the game is to snipe. That's all you do. So everyone get a, um, a charger out. We're playing some mini games, starting off with a classic. Remember, no subs or specials. It could be any charger in the game. Press the L stick, and anything underneath the charger class is game. Just remember, no subs or specials. I know if you're playing new Squiffer, you would love to play, but it's just not possible. So, um, yeah, get your chargers out, um, and then we can get started. I'm just going to goop flop right now, because... It makes a very funny noise, and I like it. I never noticed that the circle is smaller than the actual grid. Anyway, let me ready up. Also, low lace welcome on it. We are getting, um, we are getting good. Uh, we're uh, getting good mini games in right now. So feel free to join if you'd like. What and how do you get your hat and shoes? Uh, my... If you're talking about my rainbow hat, that is a Grisco item. You can get via Grisco via the pink capsules. If you're talking about the coral headband, that was a Frosty Fest event here. If you go to the news tab on your Switch and under the Splatoon channel, um, you should see there being a Frosty Fest thing saying here, okay, here's, here's Frosty Fest gear. So... Yeah, this is how you get the uh, the Frosty Fest gear. Just go to the news tab. For my shoes, the ZNF slip-ons. Those are available in the catalog actually right now. They're a rerun of the Fresh Season catalog. They are, I think, level 80-something. They are very late in the catalog. I don't know if you can actually order them off of me after the stream or after the lobbies or whatnot, but um, they are catalog exclusive, so... Um, that's kind of the, the gist, the gist of it. Um, so, yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, that's how you can get my shoes and my hats. I love, I love playing GooTuber, so fun. Nice. Nice. Glad that we're not spawn camping, folks. I appreciate this. I just forgot to mention that in Laser Tag, we cannot spawn camp, so... Um, I would suggest not being on their fan area. I just don't go into their spawn. Just staying down here in mid is good enough because they have plenty of defensive positions where they can snipe us. Um. So, uh, usually for laser tag, you want to pick a variety of chargers. You should just never know. You can't order the Z price of if you don't have them already? Yeah. It's a good it's a, it's a good thing that you ask now because yeah the Z Fry slip-ons are available right now. So you just gotta reach level 80 million in the catalog, so I wish you the best of luck on that. Honestly getting one catalog level a day is really good. 
or playing in like big runs, which has already happened, but if you play in Splatfests, those are also really good. Um, time to level up. Kind of a strategy, get your catalog is obviously one level a day, as well as just, um... Can I go down here? Hello, YouTuber. Um... Yeah, one level a day, and during, like, special events, getting as many levels as you can, gets you up pretty high. I'm only, like, 20, but I can get the Coral Band. Yes! The Coral Band! They're... Okay, that is my outfit. But it's still at the beginning of the season, right? It's still the first month, right? So you still have plenty of time. And you also, at the end of the month, uh, at the end of the season, you have the catalog bonus. So that's pretty cool. All right. Um, the next mini game we're gonna play is another classic. Everyone needs to pick a zip caster weapon. Um, it could be any zip caster weapon. You could pick whatever you want. We do have a new one. I don't remember if we played mini games at the start of the season, but um, Zipcaster Showdown. Everyone needs to pick a Zipcaster weapon. Just realizing there are three order weapons here too. <laughs> Lots of new ones. But you can pick any one you want, and you can only kill people while in Zipcaster form at a specific area of the map. Now, I do want to test something out because usually I play this on Scorch with the rusty cages. I play this on, uh, uh, what is it? Barnacle and Dines fish statues, crab legs, scaffolding, and Robo Ramen's ramen bowl for the occasional funnies. But I'm really curious to see how Marlin's gonna be. I've never played Zipcaster Showdown. If you don't know about Marlin, there's, on the side of the stage, if you notice in our laser tag matches, there's like these lights that are on top of like pylons outside of the main battling arena. I'm curious to see if we can actually fight on those. This might not be necessarily good. Um, so uh, we'll figure that out. So once again, this game, charge for Zipcaster. No killing when you're not in Zipcaster, okay? No subs either, okay? So just paint for Zipcaster. And then go to one of the pylons on the map, like the, the, the lights on the outside of the map, um, in order to kill people. So, um, that's what we're going to do. Also, hello. Oh, we're getting raided right now. Holy. Hello, Tom Leo. Welcome on in. And Ivan and Mr. Chipmunk. How y'all doing? And also, hello, Mr. Coconut. What are you guys streaming? We're streaming some Splatoon right now. We're having fun. We're we're being silly. Um, how are you guys? I was just explaining a mini game, Zipcaster Showdown. Very silly, fun game. Um, yeah. How are you guys doing? Now let's go ahead and do a little cow dance before we get started because this is a perfect time actually. Um, but yeah, what are you guys streaming? Let us know. We're playing Splatoon. If you don't know me, I'm Floda. I'm a silly gamer that likes playing Splatoon a lot. We also play little Pokemon here and there. Uh, we'll get some Rabbids music in. Let's play some silly Rabbids music, right? Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, get some cows in the chat! Oh yeah, we, we dancing. Oh yeah. So we get to dance a little bit. Oh yeah. I love my little Polish dancing gal. Get some good vibes in here, you know? Oh my god, you were streaming Mario Kart? How was that? Hold on, I'm gonna wait for this song to finish. There we go. But yeah, how was Mario Kart? I love Mario Kart. I'm a big fan of Mario Kart. Um, so hopefully you guys had fun. I'm assuming you were playing with viewers, so hopefully you had some good online matches. Dude, I love, I love Mario Kart. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the classic. We love it. Why you guys all had fun? I appreciate it. But yeah, once again, if you like Splatoon, if you like a variety of games, I do play Mario Kart occasionally. I'm trying to play more in Mario Kart this year. Um, but we'll see. You never know. My schedule is always really busy. Um. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have stuff. What's up, Bandit Guy? Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. I enjoy all Splatoon games and just have less time to play it since I'm busy with Pokemon Violet and Mario Maker. I don't blame you! Those games those games have a lot. Dude, I love Mario Maker too. 
I like to revisit Mario Maker every once in a while. I really need to play it. I don't know if I would ever stream it, but Mario Maker 2 is awesome. It gives me back some memories in the pandemic when I would play it all the time. So I love making Mario levels, even though I would make them as hard as possible <laughs> for myself. That's what I do. See, I know spamming in the chat. I appreciate the enthusiasm, though. We should play Mario Kart sometime? Yeah. I did try and play a Mario Kart stream a while back. I just haven't, but maybe next week we can do one. Oh, I'm always down for Mario Kart. Oh. But yeah, once again, thank you for the raid. Feel free to like and subscribe, chillax. Appreciate once again for the raid. Um, Tom, I don't know if I am subscribed to your channel or not, so let me just find your channel and subscribe because that's what I do. Are we here? Oh, I see it. I see it right here. So I, I believe this is your channel. So I'll just link it in the chat for anyone that wants to check them out because I don't believe you've rated me before. I believe this is their channel. Everything seems to click. Um, but yeah, once again, thank you for the raid. Um, awesome. I'm going to go already. I'm going to be bu busy. Oh, no worries. I think they should stop and I'll buy. Have a great rest of your night. Appreciate it. Anyway, let's get uh, started on... Uh, the mini game here. Once again, this is called Zipcaster Showdown. We're playing mini games in the chat, so we're just playing, um, not like the standard modes in this game. We're playing custom game modes that we just trust everyone to follow the rules with. Remember, uh, only paint for Zipcaster, no killing. And then once you get Zipcaster, you can kill others, but you can only kill them on the lights. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that, um, once I show you. Uh, this might be a bad uh map for tetras so i'm just gonna put it out there i don't think tetras are gonna succeed very well um but i will um i will show you guys what i mean all right now uh thank you for the shower broski no worries i think i did but it was a while ago maybe possibly i have a very bad memory but oh uh, yeah i subscribe nonetheless so i could keep up to date i like to subscribe to people that support me because I can always raid back and also just hang out on streams because I do that a lot. Anyway, do you guys see the lights? I'll show you what the lights are here. So the lights are on the side of the pit area. So if you if you see this, that's what I mean. These lights on the side. Can you see them? They're on the side of the stage. They're a little tricky to zip to, but... That's how they work. So for the green team here, we're going to go over here. So we're going to go for the green team. We're going to be going to this little thing. So it's going to be on the left side of our base, but on the orange team, it's going to be on the right side. So um, we'll get started. All right. And now so you can actually zip up here. You can stand up here. You can do silly things. Um, you do have to zip close to the top. It is a little bit difficult, but you can get on the top. So you guys can try it out. That's the one that we're going to be doing. Ooh, you can test it out there. Um, so yeah, that's what's going to really happen. Feeling it. Um, those are the lights. I just want to see if this works, right? It might not be on the list, but I just want to test it out because it's a new map, new little area. Uh, I'm going to stand right here. You do have to zip to the top. So... Just a hint, just aim up while you're zipping to get onto the top. Because it is possible. I'll wait until more people come over here so it's a little more hectic. And then we can zip to the top. There we go. So yeah, you do. Yep, yeah, there you go. So yeah, it's a little, it's a little silly, isn't it? So let me know what you guys think after the match, right? And then we'll, we'll see. I'm not sure you're popular belief or not actually asleep yet. Dang, Spider, how was uh, your IRLs? Your IRL Splatoon in. Hopefully you're doing well. We're doing Zipcaster Showdown on um on Marlin. So remember, left side of green space, right side of orange's base. That's the one that we're gonna go onto the airline uh, the air 
Oh, the mall sign? I guess that's what I can call it, right? Because it's close to the mall. So yeah, let's... Eh, get me up here! There we go, so... Oh my god, Carbon actually might succeed on... Carbon might actually be good on this. Yeah, it's gonna be something. They should give E-Leader zip. No! I'm glad they give the Kraken. I actually finished up a while ago was playing Fortnite with Finns. Ooh, how was that? You love Finamon. I need to stop by her stream because I like doing that occasionally. Yeah, I hope you, uh, I'm glad that you had fun with Roblox. Okay, let me jump up here. Is anyone gonna hop up here? Or am I alone? Oh, someone else is here. I'm just really bad. Just really bad at things. <laughs> Tetris might actually still work on this stage, though. It's just gonna be a little hard, right? That's always good. That's good. Hopefully you got those victory royales. Anyways, I'm just really bad at Squiffer. That's, that's the meaning here. Uh, that's the meaning. New Squiffer on that pulls the death sentence, yeah. Yeah, let me know, guys, if you want, if you are kind of enjoy this little quirk. Dude, I can't move. You definitely got to try and get on it first. It's definitely a little challenging. I'll probably add it to the list, though, because it is a pretty solid location. Um, it's a little funky. I like the little funky ones. It's like Barnacle's weird statues. Except there's a lot more space than th th it looks like, you know? It doesn't look like there's a lot of space, but... Oh, well, I'm gonna heal real fast. Oh! Keeper! Ah! I wonder if you can, like, zip behind it. Is that possible? Okay, let me... Go over here. I want to test something, and I don't know if this will work or not. So, this might just be a flop. Can you zip from here to here? Oh! Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool, actually. You can actually zip from there to there, huh? So yeah, I think I might add that to the list. I think that was pretty fun. Um, obviously when, I think this is a carbon kind of map. Carbon, definitely. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty good. So yeah, in case you didn't know if that was a zip spot or not, that is a Zoopcaster spot just for you. Uh, so yeah, that's that's how you play Zoopcaster Showdown. Very fun. I'm um, glad it works on Marlin. Wait, is it possible to go on top of the bridge in Bluefin? This is not a part of the match, by the way. I just want to do something real fast. This is not a part of the match. I just want to test something out. So everyone just ready up. This won't count as a lobby. Just, just ready up. I'm curious on if you can zip and stay on the bridge. Because if that is the case, it could be interesting. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna look. I wanna look and see. I know you can zip to the side. I just don't know. I don't know. Which one is the real me? I don't know. Yeah, you guys see the little bridge, right? The little minecart track. I want to see if I can zip to that. Or at least the middle section. Maybe. Can I, like, get on top of it? Oh! I almost got on top of it! Hold on, I gotta check again.
Let me just paint. I'm really curious. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, my. But why is it so specific, though? It's so interestingly specific. I need to, I need to, maybe we could use Zipcaster Showdown on this map, too. This might actually be the best one. Because you can zip from anywhere. Now, how far can you zip? Doesn't look like you can go over here. Yeah. This will be a zip caster map too, but we'll play it in the next lobby when there's more new peeps. So I don't want to play the same mini game with the same folks. I want to test it one more time and then we can uh, get into an actual mini game next. The next mini game is going to be called Chump Jump. Classic mini game. I haven't played it in forever and I really want to play it again. How do I zip it onto it? Oh, I bump my head because I bump on the side of the rail. Oh. Oh, okay. So I think being in the middle of the map is bad for this. You want to... You want to be on the top layer of blue thing, so. Um, let me try it one more time and then we'll, um, I just wanna, I just wanna see it from here. No, oh, but you can like, whoa. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely gonna, we're definitely gonna, who do that? That's definitely Squiver Favor, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Might have to play some Zipcaster Showdown in the next ma match chat. But anyway, let's play some good old. I don't know. Let's play some good old Chump Jump. Um, so here we go. I just want to get some of the graphics over here. So let me just look real fast. Uh, I gotta look for them. Look, see, look, see, do's. Such a long build up for I don't know. My my brain is a small one. All right, we'll do this. All right, so for those that don't know what Chump Jump is, I'm just gonna pull up the graphic here for later. Chump Jump is a mini game involving super chumps, so everyone has to play a super jump weapon. Very silly game. The first, uh, this game is all about dodging super chump explosions. At the start of the game, Alpha Team will be the one firing chumps. Bravo Team will have to sit in a standard zone on the map. As you can see, we're going to be playing on ramen. The middle, as you can see there, the higher mid platform is the area that you must be in as the Bravo Team. Once Alpha Team has all their, uh, at, once everyone on the Alpha Team has their special charged up, that's when they can fire them at the Bravo Team. The Bravo Team can paint uh, with their main weapon only until the chumps land. When the chumps land on the floor, or you see the markers on the floor, they can't shoot anymore, and they have to try and dodge the chump explosions. Um, so uh, that's pretty much the game. The rolls switch once all the chumps explode, so then Bravo Team will be painting for chumps, and then Alpha Team will be going into the middle of the map. Um, so, yeah, it's a pretty straightforward minigame. 
Uh, so I'll just repeat the rules again, just in case you didn't follow. Alpha team at the start will be painting for chumps. You can only fire your chumps into the middle of the map once. Uh, everyone on your team has their special ready. Bravo team, you are able to paint uh, with your main weapon until the chumps, chump markers are on the floor, in which case you have to be in the middle of the map seen here. Um, and you have to try and dodge the chump explosions. You cannot fall off the middle of the map. You have to stay within that zone. Um, or else you're cheating. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Um, pretty straightforward game. Yeah. So yeah, first up, my team is Alpha Team, and then Marina's team is Bravo Team. Once again, everyone has to use a chump weapon because we do switch sides, so. Um, yeah. But yeah, the chumps are the only ones that are killing, so Alpha Team, just don't kill with your main weapons. And stuff like that. Um, but yeah. Stay within the middle high platform of the map. Um, don't stand on... Uh, I don't think you can stand on any of the ramps. So please do not stand on any of the ramps besides... Uh, well, I guess this one right here. You can stand on this one. You just can't stand on this one. You have to stand on the ones that are on the higher platform. Remember, pink team... You can paint! Start painting. This is going to be helpful for you. Paint the middle of the map. Nothing is stopping you until the chumps are on the floor. So, um, no one is stopping you there. Because you're going to need that paint. You're going to need it a lot. Um, so yeah, here we go. Let's fire those chumps. Stay in the middle of the map. Try and dodge them. See where you can go. Um, you can go on the grates. You can go on the grates as well. Um... And yeah, we have one survivor here, so now the sides are switched, and we get to start again. So yeah, for those that are wondering what the graphic looks like in-game, you can go all the way back here. You just can't go onto this. Can't go onto this. Um, but you can go on the grates. Technically, you can... I don't know if I banned going up here or not. I think I did, so just don't go on the glass. Don't go on to the little glass thing. But yeah, we're just waiting for these guys here. I'm just going to go over here because this looks like a safe spot. Um, so yeah, I can be right here. This is a legal thing. And now the rolls switch again. So um, yeah, this is a cool little game. And all the kills um, add up at the end. So whoever's team got the least amount of deaths wins essentially so yeah. yeah this is a really fun game this is one of my favorites we do play this on humpback and uh, crab leg that's the other one i love crab leg one so yeah this one's really fun all right i'm gonna place this right here i'm gonna fire my chumps uh, yeah, you can get creative with dodging them. You don't have to stand super still. You can stand on the grates. Once you learn those strategies, you know, you get to you get to do things. All right, the rolls are switched. So pink team, get your chumps. <clears throat> you can start immediately painting the floor. You can paint mid. You can do anything. Because obviously the more paint you have on the floor when firing your chumps, the less we can deal with it. So, um... Also, I did not go out of bounds. You can go up to here. You can go up to here. You know? So, like, I can go right here. I just cannot go on the ramp. I can't go on the other thing. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, you just can't go past this bumper here. Going past this bumper. It's not very good. I'm glad people are following the rules, though. This is really fun. I miss Chump Jump. I need to play more mini games, man. This is one of my favorite ones. I think I invented this one, or someone else did. I don't remember. It's been a, quite a long time, hasn't it? All right, so let's see what we get. I'm going to place them right there. Uh, I want to go up here just to get a little look. Now, the thing about Chump Jump 
is you don't want all of your team to be on the same side as well. So, uh, for those that are wondering, it does get a little easier, obviously, for the team in the middle. And that's when the people firing the chumps actually have to be a little bit more strategic about them. So there is a little strategy to this game for both sides, so it's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, pink team, you're ready to fire whenever you're ready. So I'm just gonna, gonna go over here. So no one fired the chumps over here. And this is completely legal. Hi. <laughs> the map is symmetrical, so... Um, you are allowed to stand wherever that you're allowed to. So I'm going to actually go over here. And do a little bit of a different strat. I'm just going to ping a little bit here. There you go. And I believe... I got one! But yeah, we got one lone survivor here. But yeah, that's Chump Jump. But yeah. How long is this stream gonna go for? We're probably gonna go for another hour. But yeah, I love Chump Jump, man. Such a fun game. And the game just got better over time with the Chump uh, buffs. Because we used to play this on Brine Water and Barnacle. Because the chumps were so bad and could not explode. I still remember the time where the chumps got buffed. And we, we used to play it on Brine Water and Barnacle. And then we were like, oh, they got buffed. And then no one could survive on Barnacle and Brine Water because mid was too small. And then all the other areas were just easy to dodge the chumps in. And we're like, damn. Oh, man. <laughs> it, it, it was crazy, but yeah. If you ever want to play this game with friends, highly recommend playing on Humpback in the middle mound. Crab leg on the little uh, uninkable bridge across from the middle. And ramen, uh, where we were playing it. It's, those are really fun. And I guess you could play it on Flounder as well. Um, Flounder is a little just more difficult. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different maps you could technically play this on. Remember the day Brian Water died? Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, that was three rounds, so let's go ahead and reset for new folks. Um, yeah. Cool. Crab Lake sounds crazy on the bridge. It is It is a little tricky, actually, on the bridge. It's tricky for both teams. Because you have to try and fire the chumps on the bridge, which sometimes is hit or miss. And then... Um... Then you have, uh, it's hard to move around, too. So, it's a pretty fun one. I like that. We have a variety of maps for these mini games. Um, and I hope people enjoy these mini games because most of them are made in chat. Some people have made them, and I just write them down. And I've made some of them as well. So, it's totally, uh, totally, uh, it's fun. I love them. We have over 30 mini games that we play, so, pretty cool. All right. The next minigame we're going to play is called Hack and Slash. This is a classic minigame. Everyone has to play Splatana Stamper in this game. Doesn't matter which one. Um, but, um, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to play it on Brine Water. Because this is a Brine Water game, I guess. You can pick whichever one you want. But each of them has their pluses and minuses. Um, so basically, this minigame uh, has you... Um, it's similar to Chump where both teams switch sides, but essentially, Alpha team at the start goes to the other team's base, and Bravo team stays in their base. And the goal for Bravo team... Okay, let me... Let, let, let's pretend. So this is Bravo team's base up here, right? Your goal as Bravo team is to try and dodge the incoming slashes from the Alpha team. The Alpha team will be down here, and... They'll be trying to vertical slash you and kill you, essentially. And um, once Bravo team all dies, right? You can't re-enter the battle once you die. Once everyone on the Bravo team died, then Alpha team jumps back to their base. 
and then they have to try and survive the hacking and slashing. So, um, basically, you are dodging the Splatana Stamper slashes over here in your spawn. And when I mean spawn, I mean like your spawning platform, like the platform that no one can reach but yourself. Um, and your goal is to dodge are the incoming slashes. And obviously the first team to first dodge is the Bravo team. And then it switches once Alva team manages to kill all of Bravo team. When you die, make sure you super jump into onto the unequable platform on the side of Brimewater that no one can reach you. So then we know if you're dead or not. Um, this is a very key important thing. You can use any ability you want. You cannot use specials in this minigame, but there's a catch. If you're using the vanilla Splatana Stamper, you are able to use your Burst Bomb for mobility when you are trying to dodge slashes. And for the green Splatana, what you can do is you can... Um, I just pulled up the document. Um, Toxic Mist can be spammed um, when you're trying to um, attack other players as well as defend from other players. So if you're using Toxic Mist, you can, at you can throw Mist to distract the people hacking at you and slashing at you, or if you're attacking the other team, you can throw the Toxic Mist at them to slow them down. So that is a strategy. Depends on which one you want to use, though. So, um... Yeah. So let's play this on Brian Water. We just played Ramen, but this one also works on Ramen as well. Uh, and I think it's Rainmaker, I believe. So yeah, you can use whichever one you want. Just no specials. It's a little cam. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Can you make a list of mini games? I do have a list. I'm currently trying to add a description for all the games. Uh, unfortunately, um, most of the descriptions are not filled out, and I should probably do that. It's a very tedious task, but um, most of the mini games are left unmarked. Most of them are marked. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yes, you do have to kill a person. Also, I forgot what team I was on. I think I'm on Alpha Team. I didn't look. No, I'm on Bravo Team. We have to stay in our base. I believe we stay in our base for this. Or not. Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I'm dumb. You know what? Orange Team, let's get our asses over here. Why not? So, Blue Team, you can, you can, you can... I forgot. So, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Here's where the slashing begins. Uh, defenders cannot attack the orange team, by the way. So, um, you cannot actually attack the other team. However, yeah, you can use Toxic Mist. But I can use it right back. So, that's a uh, stub that you can do. Um, kind of distract. Yeah, you can hide wherever you want. You can be over here if you want to be a little sneaky. A little bit of a interesting location, but it works. Yeah, just as a reminder, go on that little uneakable roof if you are uh, destroyed. Toximus is also a great way to notify other people. Of uh, shoot, of other things. I'm trying to like figure out. And I think that's all of them dead, so it's time to jump back, and it's time for the other team to hack and slash. So, hello, Musa. Welcome on in. Yes, we are playing uh, hack and slash. Very silly game. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're bullying. We'll slow the game down. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, but you guys can poison us too. Oh, but wait, only one of you is poison. Yikes. Oh, I forgot I can like paint before. 
can do that. It's a little bit of a difficult minigame. Like I said, you can play this on ramen, which is a little bit more straightforward, but I like brine water because it has different depths and stuff. You can get up here. It's a little bit trickier um, for the hackers to actually get you. Um, so, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend playing the green Splatana in this game. Um, and the only reason why is you obviously the burst bomb only works for defense, not for attack. So, you know. So did someone fall off? Oh, I'm dead. See? Yeah, we're gonna get going. Yeah, sorry for the mix-up earlier. <laughs> My brain is stupid. Yeah, it can be a little tricky. You get to sit on top of the little, the little sandbags that I thought were rocks a long time ago. Enjoy this beautiful stage. All right, it's just Melon. Just the last one. Oh, can we get Melon? They're so weak. Oh. The key to this game is also just to jump before you slash. Very important that you do that. Oh. Oh. They did a little tricky with it. Oh. Oh, this is so exciting to watch. I love this game. Watching this game is so interesting. Like, you're like, go, go. Oh. Yeah, this is how Spl Splatana works. You can peek over the walls with it. It's pretty cool. You gotta get a little bit more up close and personal, though. Um, but don't worry, they don't bite. Or at least the people that are trying to run don't bite. Oh! I can't believe Melon is still going. There we go! All right. You guys get to jump to your base. Um, and we have 20 seconds to maybe stop you again. Technically, there's no winner in this game. Just a really fun game to play. Um, but if you ever want to play with your friends, you can always, um, you can always run this in recon and see how long someone lasts. So, um... Yeah, we, we love, we love Hack and Slash. Highly recommend. Oh, I saw this, uh, this minigame being played on Twitter once, and I just had to steal the idea. <laughs> oh, I love this game. The strafing was crazy, dude. That was, that. The people that have good mechanics thrive in this game, and even if you are not good at dodging, this is a good chance to dodge, because I remember when we played this game for the first time, no one knew how to dodge Platana Stamper. So the fact that we were able to do that was really awesome. Um, but yeah, that is how that minigame goes. A um, very good start to the lobby. I'm trying to think of other games that I want to play. Um, hmm. What's a minigame I haven't played in a while that I want to play? Hmm. Let's play back on track. Everyone must use a big back weapon for this game. It doesn't matter which one, but everyone must use one. Now, this one's a little bit more confusing, so just hear me out on this one, okay? So, basically the goal of the game is to, is to get the tower as far as you can, right? Just like tower control. Except there's a little catch that everyone must use an ink back weapon. At the start of the game, the alpha team gets a head start towards the tower. Everyone must be on the tower at the same time. If you fall off the tower, you have to jump back to base. And if you die, you have to wait uh, into your base until everyone is alive, right? When you're riding the tower, alpha team can use subs and specials um, alongside main weapons to paint only. 
So if I'm on the tower on as alpha team, right? Pretend this is the tower. I can paint the ground with this weapon, but I can also use my sub. And special. Bravo team, when you're defending, you can only use your main and sub weapons. So you can shoot at the targets with your main weapon, and you can throw your sub at them as well. Once everyone dies on the tower, the roles switch. Uh, so basically, once Alpha Team dies at the start of the game, then Bravo Team gets to ride the tower. Um, and also, to note, this isn't written down, um, but uh, there is a rule where Bravo Team, or whoever's defending, cannot be on the tower while the other team is riding it. You cannot stop the tower by riding on it. So you must stay off the tower when you're defending, like defend traditionally. So yeah, uh, just to repeat, if you're on the tower, which alpha, alpha team will be at the start of the game, you can use your main to paint, sub, and special to kill. If you're defending, which is what Bravo is going to do at the start of the game, you can only use your main and your sub to kill. Uh, and obviously, once everyone dies on the tower, it switches. Remember, if you die or you fall off the tower, you have to jump back to base. Um, and you must stay there until everyone respawns. Here, another clause of this game, this is the last one, and I'll let you guys know while we're playing. Once you pass the first two checkpoints, you have to wait as a team respawning for the tower to return to mid before you can start defending. And this is just so the match doesn't get too steamrolly. Um, so if your team manages to get past the two to three checkpoints, for the rest of the game, when you're trying to defend, you have to wait into your base until the tower returns to the middle of the map. And I'll let you know when that happens. So hopefully everyone gets the gist of it. Once again, when you're on tower, main to paint, sub and special to kill, bravo, uh, uh, defending team, main and sub, killing only. So yeah. That's, uh, that's how you play. So yeah, you can play with whatever uh, weapon you like. Tears hoping for another ink back weapon next season that actually has a bomb. <laughs> because none of them have actual bombs. Um, besides the charger. Um, but yeah. You can use whichever one you want. I'm gonna use 96 because why not? Yeah, at the start of the game, Alpha Team We'll get on tower first. Bravo team, we'll wait until they get on tower and then we get to start. Also, this is not the last game of the stream. Nope. Nope. We need to do that Splatana challenge more. That's so insanely fun, yeah. We love hack and slash. It's a classic. Also, no, this is not the last minigame, you no. Know. But yeah, hopefully everyone gets this. I know it sounds a little confusing, but I tried dumbing it down as much as possible. It's a really fun minigame, I promise. It's super duper fun. It only works on ramen, though, because the other maps are steamrolling as hell hell, so... <laughs> Which is funny, because ramen really is not that good of a tower map, if we're being real here. Or at least not as good as I originally thought. I'm gonna wait until they get to mid. Remember, everyone has to get on tower! And let's get going. Here we go. So, yep. Yeah, we get to go ahead and kill. And there we go. There's the white. So, yeah, everyone must get on tower. Let's paint. Oh. I'm going to ignore that. I uh, I jumped off the tower. So yeah, when you jump off the tower, you're screwed. I think everyone died there. So um, yeah, we get to head straight back and get started. Also, you cannot kill with your main weapon on the tower. Don't do that. Remember, main weapon only to paint on the tower. 
All right, the yellow team is now past the yellow checkpoint, uh, the second checkpoint. Um, so yeah. So yeah, yellow team, you have to wait until the tower returns to the middle of the map. So just wait on that. Um, so yeah, just gotta wait. And then you can start defending here. Oh, I could have placed a sprinkler. And unfortunately, we died. So, Alex, welcome on in. Hopefully, doing well. All right, but purple team, nothing stopping us. Forgot they can use subs to kill. And no one's on the tower, so. Everyone, get on the tower. I think this is all of us. Shiver just needs to get on the tower. Oh, but I died! Double wipe. Okay. Never had that happen before. Uh. Oh, people fell off! You can't get back on! Yeah. Gotta be quick about it. So yeah, everyone has to get on tower. Oh, and I'm dead. Damn. Yeah, just uh, to note, Super jumping to the tower is the best thing you can do to get on it as soon as possible because if you're not on it in time and all your team dies on the tower, you straight up just don't get a chance to ride it. So um, that is something to note. Oh my god, big ink bag. All right, someone's still on. All right. So yeah, whoever is still on the floor, get on the tower. And we're dead. Do we have any subs that can kill? Because I don't think we do. It's the only upsetting part about this game. I really wish ink back weapons had more subs. I got one of them though. That's pretty neat. So remember, if you fall off the tower, you cannot climb back on. Yeah, remember yellow team, wait in your base before starting. You gotta wait in your base. We all died. Yeah, that is it. Yellow team gets to win. Um, I did notice though that some of the yellow team was not staying in their base before. Um, remember, you cannot you cannot leave you know, like your spawning platform or base or whatever until the tower returns to mid. A lot of people were just. Some people were way too close to mid when you guys shouldn't have so um just wanted to point that out um because i thought it only would happen once but it happened a little frequently but um you did kind of have to um stay in into in your base a lot of people were just standing there with charger and doing stuff but it's okay i don't mind it 
So yeah, this is a thing for the checkpoint kind of clause that we have. Because obviously, if you just stand on the snipe, you can just shoot once the, the tower returns to the middle. Like, it just defeats the whole the whole purpose of it, so. Um, yeah, that's kind of what happens. Um, but yeah. Other than that, that's kind of the taste of the minigame. Lots of different backs, lots of different things happening. Um, this final minigame, we are going to be playing on Bluefin, and we're going to be playing Zipcaster Showdown. Uh, I explained this a little earlier, but I'll explain it again for those that don't know. Uh, Zipcaster weapons only. No uh, killing with your main weapon until you get on top of that bridge. Um, with Zipcaster, that is when you're able to kill. Um, no subs, period. Just paint the ground. Um, and yeah, try and get as many kills as you can on the top of the Bluefin Bridge. Which I feel like will be best with a lot of different weapons. I'm actually going to try Tetris. We'll see. Yeah, everyone must uh, pick a uh, thing like that. Yeah. Any Zipcaster weapon shall do. And the hint for getting on top of the bridge is to not be in the middle of the map. Try and get on the upper platform of uh, on anyone's plat and aim towards like the little arches over the bridge or aim close to the top of the side of the bridge. So it is a little difficult to get up, especially if you land on one of the ridges, because usually they want you to grapple underneath the little ridge, which I don't even know how you're going to do it anyway. But. Also, a random welcome on in. We are playing mini games, yes. We're playing silly mini games, and anyone is able to drink it. As long as you follow the rules, we're chill like that. So this is the final mini game of the lobby, not of the stream though. We still have a half an hour stream left, folks, so... Well, we'll be able to get a, maybe one more lobby in before we do a little squid party. Sorry if I, I'm sorry if I'm not clear enough. I like, I, I mean final mini game of the lobby, that's on me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, uh... I feel like people, I, I think, I assume people know how long I stream, but I don't. Usually I stream for four to five hours, and we're going five today. Yeah, you guys are fine. We'll try and get different people in, though. Yeah, we haven't played this yet. I can't believe I've just thought of Bluefin Zipcaster Showdown now. This game, this map has been out for three months. And my dumbass is not paying attention, clearly. What is my favorite color? Um... A very, like an olive green. I like green. Not actually yellow. Yellow used to be my least favorite color. If you believe it. But I don't know if anyone can. Anyway. Let's get on top! So yeah, anyone can get on top. As, once you have Zipcaster ready, you can get onto the top of the map. Um, and yeah, you can zip up there and fight. So yeah, you can uh, zip around, use your main weapon. Pretty cool, isn't it? Just gonna do that. I like to go up in like pairs. So I like going up with someone else. So I like just being uh, tapped together. Uh, so uh, is anyone else ready? All right, I'll go up. I can like zip here. There you go. Feels like a little trapeze almost. Very, very silly. Hmm. Try not to run into this. Alright, let me see. So anyone else? Uh, alright. Here we go. I'm somehow underneath it. Um. Yeah, just aim for the posts on the bridge. You are not gonna get up there if you're not gonna do anything. Mm. 
Okay, this is our base. It's very yellow. There we go. I'd like to go with uh, another person. I didn't really think though. Um, I've been thinking about this for a little bit, even before the stream. And I want your guys' opinion on this. You guys, I know for some of these special mini games, we like to use the specials at the same time. Should we do that for this game? Because sometimes there's not a lot going on on top of here. And I think it would be a lot more fun. But at the same time, the thing about this is I like when it's different because it's different every time, right? Like, different people get specials at a different time. You get to face new foes every time. I just don't know if it would be as long-lasting if everyone uh, did that. So, um, so yeah, just let me, uh, let me know uh, in the chat if you guys would like to see what we're doing now with just the... Uh, Whenever we feel like it, or how do you? I don't even want to know. How is this a spot? Anyway, dude, imagine doing that in solo queue and no one can reach you up there. Genuinely insane. It's a little lucky. Welcome on in. How are you doing? I think the map can sustain everyone at once. Okay. Then we might do it for this map because I'm starting to see that. You have a larger space to work with. Um, the other maps are a little bit small, a little more hectic. Doesn't last as long when it comes to the um, to the zipping. Um, but this map is very, very big. So for this last one, everyone charge at your zip and wait till everybody has it. And then we all go up at the same time. So just wait before you zip. We'll just wait for everyone to start zipping. So. Uh, I want to test this out to see if it's a little more, a little more silly. So, rushes in one stamper. I'm waiting for you guys. Squid parting. Um, and yeah, let's get going. Um, if I cannot like duck balls at this. Oh yeah, that felt a lot better, even though it was literally stuck on the bottom. Uh, no one end the match? Oh wait, no, this is gonna go into overtime. Why did we score? Why did we score? I don't know why people scored. Anyway. That was something. But yeah. Bluefin's gonna be a fun Zipcaster map, I like that. Um... Yeah. Best color is purple. All right. Let's go ahead and reset if you're in this lobby. Wait a little bit before rejoining. Let's get some new peeps in here because I know some peeps want to get some more mini games in. I believe this is the last lobby of the stream before the squid party. We will be making a new uh, squid party lobby here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So, Wolfie, you were in the last one, so please step on out. You didn't wait before you rejoining, please. Alistair, welcome on in. Hopefully you're doing well. Glad you're enjoying the stream. I believe that's everyone. Obviously, let me know if you were not able to get in at all. Um, because I do want to be mindful of that, so always feel free to address your concern. Um, but yeah, anyway. Trying to look for another mini game that I want to play right now. Hmm. 
what mini game do I want to play? I'm trying to think. <laughs> oh, can we play this one? Let's play. Stall Brawl. Stall Brawl is the stupidest minigame you will ever see in your life. And I'm not even kidding. Question. Who has Tenebrel in the chat? Because this does require specific weapons. Um, and I'll explain the minigame to you. So, there's going to be one team. And it's going to be... One team is going to have all ten umbrellas, and the other team is going to have two Toxic Mist players and two Splash Wall players. Alpha team's goal is to provide a path for the Rainmaker. Because the Rainmaker can only move behind tent shields, okay? So when there's a tent shield in play, the Rainmaker has to go behind it and can only move when they are behind a tent shield or when a tent shield is in play and they're behind it and stuff like that. So, yeah, Rainmaker can only move behind a tent shield. Um, Bravo team gets to spam subs. Toximus, splash balls, stop them in their tracks. Stop them from getting the KO. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's that that's the game. Uh, at the beginning of the game, before the Rainmaker pop, the uh, team that is spamming subs can paint their base. But once the Rainmaker is popped and the other team grabs the Rainmaker, uh, they have to stop painting the floor and they have to spam subs. So, uh, a, uh, a thing about this game though is that the tents cannot kill the sub users if they do accidentally. It happens, but try not to, and vice versa. So yeah. Let me know if you have Tent in the chat, because I can play it. Uh, Dev has it, and Random has it. It doesn't matter specifically which one you have. It just has to be a Tent. Uh, let's see later, Alex. Uh, does anyone else have Tent? We do need one more player. Uh, anyone have Tent in here? I don't know who has Tent. I should look around the lobby just in case. Because I know some people like to lurk and stuff. Uh, my dad, I guess, could be on my team too. <laughs> All right, there you go. We'll do that. Okay, I see a lot of people with tents. Uh, alpha team will be tents. Now, for the Bravo team, you have to decide, as a team, two Toxic Mists, two Splash Walls. No more, no less. So I'm trusting you guys to coordinate, okay? So just look at what each other's weapons have and make sure you pick the right ones, okay? Uh, so yeah. Anyway, I'll be on the tent team. Also, the Rainmaker can't shoot shots. I almost forgot to say that. The Rainmaker is helpless, so... Or else this game is just not fun. Here we go. Yeah, this game is stupid. It is the stupidest minigame you'll ever see in your life. Um, you can also do this on Ship Shape, too, if you really want to. Um, just a little harder. Just a little harder. Yeah, I trust the other team, the Bravo team, to, to do things. Yeah, just to reiterate, anyone on the tent team can grab the Rainmaker. <laughs> Um, you just have to be following a tent shield in order to move. Um, Bravo team, you can paint your spawn before the Rainmaker pop at the start, but you have to start spamming subs once you're done. No specials on either team, of course. Um, yeah. Tent team wins if they get a knockout, and if they don't, they lose, so. Yeah, let's get the, uh, the thing going. So yeah, let's get going here. I'll grab it. So uh, I will walk behind the thing, and there's. I'll just. I'll just go on the check. Get this over with. Oh, but I have no ink. 
Uh, but yeah, you gotta... Uh, go! No! It disappeared! There's a lot of trust in this minigame, by the way. There we go! Walk! Oh my god, this is so... Oh. There we go! Oh, they blocked us both! Eh? This'll work? I don't know how this is working. Hmm. We have 15 seconds! Alright, time to jump back. Um, someone on the purple team, reset the Rainmaker. So, uh, whoever's- I forgot to mention this. Um, you- you do have to reset the Rainmaker for this to work. So yeah, just someone jump off. We'll wait for you guys to respawn and then we'll get started. Alright. Here we go, let's get started. Yeah, let's, uh, get the hand shields! <laughs> this is the stupidest mini game. I laugh all the time at it. It's so silly! Oh my god, the walls! Oh my god! Oh, go, go, go! Ah! Dude, the Toxin is just so annoying. But it wouldn't be the same game without it. Oh yeah, big tent! Big tent games. Also, yeah, the, ten, the the splash walls, they do a lot, don't they? Okay, let's go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Oh my god. Oh, the toxin is just so annoying. No! These wall users are too good. Oh, god. Oh my god. Man, install brawl with recycled umbrella? Dude, that would be a little unfair, honestly. Though there could be a rendition if someone wants to... Um... If someone wants to do it. But yeah, here we go. Also, once again, a reminder for the sub-team, before the Rainmaker pop, you're able to paint your base. No one's stopping. It's a lot easier if you do. Okay, let's let's get up here. Let me go up here, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna go this way, maybe. We're dedicating a route right now. Sometimes you do have to switch, though. Uh. Oh. We're almost there. Oh, this is pissing me off. Toxic Mist. It might seem useless, but when you're actually playing the game, it feels bad. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh my god. No! Oh my god! <laughs> Isn't this the stupidest game, guys? Isn't it silly? Also, let's wait. Let's wait until they respawn. I'm gonna wait until they respawn. Okay, there we go. I like to wait until they respawn so they get, you know, a chance to move. Anyway, last push. Oh wait, the game's gonna end. Speed run. Speed run. Oh, can I speed run? Go. Oh, so yeah, you can't actually jump on here if you're toxic mist. Kind of a shame, I know. If you somehow get up there, it's not really too much of an advantage. <laughs> well, I suppose the Stallers won against the Brawlers. I'm telling you, this is the stupidest minigame ever. Like, you don't expect it to work. Especially when it's double Toximus, double wall. But when you're facing against Penabrella on Ship Shape or even Brine Water here, yeah, it's 
<laughs> so stupid. <laughs> oh god. Also, I'm sorry, Bad. They accidentally killed you. I didn't mean to. I didn't even see you, to be honest. But I feel bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's Stall Brawl. <laughs> oh god. Such a stupid game. I love it so much. <laughs> anyway. Um. God, that game always brings a smile to my face. Um. Chat, should we play the game that starts with an F or starts with an S? Type the letter of your choice in the chat. F or S. Seeing a lot of S. So we're going to play this another stupid mini game. This mini game is called Squid Flop Turf War. Um, I need one other person to play bamboo for me. So can someone let me know if they have bamboo and I'll assign you to be the bamboo user for this. <laughs> Chat, why are you saying no? It's so funny. Uh, it's so funny! I love this game! This is funny. It's funny. Uh, for those that don't know, um, you can paint by squid flopping in your ink. And you actually get turf points for this if you look at the top of your screen. Slowly but surely, you get points. <laughs> so yeah, you can... This is kind of a spam the ZL button challenge, except there's like a little rhythm to it, so it's not super spammy. But at the start of the game, uh, at the 10 second mark, once you get into mid, the bamboozler on your team will paint a dot on the floor like this, and everyone else, all you do is squid flop, and the team with the most turf on the ground wins. Um, this is a real thing. Um... Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but yeah. So yeah, this is a very silly mini game. Um, Wolfie will be the Alpha Team's bamboozler, so no one else play bamboozler besides Wolfie and I. Um, let me just spec these folks. You can use any weapon, but you can't use your main weapon. You can't use your special. You can't use your sub. All you can do is just flop. Like, seriously, at the start of the game, all you do is walk, and then once the 10 seconds are up at the start of the game, your bamboozler goes like this, just dot on the floor, nothing more. And then you just flop. So yeah, as long as you're in the middle of the map, um, that'll be good. Flop is life. Flop is freedom, exactly. Also, little Master Royale, welcome on in. You can join via the pool. Go to the lobby, go to the envelope tab in the menu, and join the pool using the plus button. And you should see a note up there once the lobby is online. Yeah, Wolfie just tap shot the floor once 10 seconds of the match have elapsed. Everyone else, don't paint. Don't do it. Just walk. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, okay, here we go. Also, someone painted on the floor! We have some cheater cheater pumpkin eaters in here. Who did that? Hold on. Someone painted at the start. Hold on. This is not authentic. <laughs> it might have been an accident. Let's redo it. Let's redo it. Uh, we'll redo it. We'll redo it. No one's at fault. It's an accident. It's okay. It's okay. Don't don't feel bad. It's fine. We're gonna we're gonna we're just we're gonna have the same people playing. It's okay. 
that paint there is more than 50% of the total turf. Yeah. We have to restart or else it isn't fair. And that's why we do Bamboozler. So if you just... Put the dot on the floor, it's good. Purple memory, yeah. It's okay, just take your right hand off of your controller. You only need your left hand. Except if you play the left side of your controller with the right hand, I guess you can still do that, but that's kind of weird. I don't know. But I mean, you do you. All right, here we go. Running. All right, here we go. Now there is a rhythm to it, folks, and you gotta find it for yourself. Because it really isn't as spammable as you think it is. And look, I already have two points on the floor, guys. Hello, purple team. The spectators are probably wondering what the hell is happening right now, and me too, honestly. Hi, purple team. Do you want me to interrupt your gameplay? Hi. <laughs> we are battling. I will erase your turf. Hi, purple team. Hi. Hi. Hi, purple team. I will take your turf. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, look at how weird the paint is when you're on this side of the floor. So strange, isn't it? We are doing great. Someone else on the purple team, though, is, like, getting really far. Kind of a racing turf right now, but they're also kind of a racing mine. I found the, the rhythm, though. It's like you're playing Octobrush, almost. Like, you really cannot spam. You have to be, like, at the edge of your ink, too. It's a little harder when you're in enemy ink. Someone fall off the edge, or did they just stop? Because, yeah, unfortunately, you can only... I'm gonna use my right hand now. I'm tired. I'm like painting this guy. I think someone did fall off, but they walked back. Okay, overall, I did a very good job. This map is looking quite orange right now. From the looks of it. Someone is just straight up giving up here. I don't know who that person is, but I don't think it... Do you actually gain turf from doing that? I guess you can. I guess no one's really stopping you. So, yeah, that's uh, something. I think that's an orange team win. Oh, my God. 62 points to 28. We rocked. Damn. So yeah, that's that's a. Uh, <laughs> it's so stupid. I love it. Also, little master, like I said, you can join via the pool. How to join? You go to lobby menu like this. You go to the envelope tab. It should say, "Join pool." And that's how you are able to get a notice for the lobby, which will appear right here once the lobby is not full. So, um, that's how you're able to join. Anyway, we'll play a real mini game. Um, because yeah. We'll play a real mini game. Fine, we'll do it. Actually, you know what? We'll play Picture Perfect. Picture Perfect's a really fun mini game. You know the Mario Party mini game where you try and get into the frame of the photo? This is it's literally the same thing, but in Splatoon. 
Um, so we play this on Clamblitz. Both, uh, I will be the photographer. Everyone else has to stay below the Clamblitz basket in their base. Um, they have to face away from the middle of the map so they don't cheaty cheaty pumpkin eaties. And their goal is to try and get into frame. You can throw and you can throw bombs and specials at the camera. You can't kill anyone though. Don't be killing anybody. Um, but yeah, try and get into frame. Um, and we're gonna do this on Crabway Capital. So that is the, the the thing that we're gonna do here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. All right, let me just spec two. Um, no killing others. Remember, just stay underneath the clam blitz basket. There will be a timer at the start of your screen. Uh, uh, there will be a countdown. So for those that um, are wondering, when do we move? Um, when, the, uh, when the timer at the, at the top of the screen um, is ticking down, that means you can move. So yeah. That's when you're able to do things. So please don't spam uh, mini mini game ideas in the chat. I see them, uh, but there are a lot of mini games on my list that I want to play. And frankly, this for real is the final one for the stream because we'll be doing a squid party next. So. Um, but once again, I do appreciate people that follow the rules today. Um, I, um, you know, last, whenever I played PB's last from like three weeks ago or whatever, um, people were not following the rules for the mini games, and it generally upset me. I'm a really impatient person. Like, it might not seem like it, but when it comes to like mini games and stuff that are really, really easy rules to follow. I just have no patience for that, so I, I do appreciate people that are, um, you know, following the mini game rules, and you know, sometimes we have our, you know, our little moments, but they're, as you know, it's all in good faith, really. So I appreciate it. But yeah, the pool is in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Remember to look away from the middle of the map. Stay underneath your clam blitz basket. Look away from the middle of the map. I'm checking both teams. Look away from the middle of the map. Look at the spawn. No peeking. <laughs> no peeks. All right, I will have nicknames up, but you have to be physically in the picture. All righty. So you guys get to start moving. Is no one moving? Mm, no one got in. Remember, you guys can move once the timer starts ticking. All right. Stay under the basket. Remember, you guys can start moving. All righty. There we go. We got some folks in the camera. Now everyone gets to go back to the spawn. All right. So yeah, uh, once the picture is done, you can go back to spawn. Sorry, I forgot to explain that part. That's on me. Okay, what's a more difficult spot? map is very, very cool. Try and get in the camera. It's a little tricky. Ah, we got some folks. Oh, and we got 10 missiles. All right. Also, you do not need to go in the show. You can go into the lobby, the main lobby. And then you can join. I can show you after this. Just hold on just a moment. All right, one more picture and then the game will be up and we'll see who wins. And we'll do a hard picture next. 
Um, in this hard picture. Hmm. I'll do a hard picture. Oh, I'll do an even harder picture. Why not? Hard picture. Try again to win! Ah! There's so many people! Oh my god, anyway. That is picture perfect. We'll see who wins. I'll just quickly show the folks that have been trouble getting in how to join. Also, yeah, I might, I'm gonna have to check what night bot is. But anyway, how to get in to PBs for those that don't know. I don't add people. I use the pool system in the game, which allows you to join. So you go into the lobby here, you open up the menu, you go to the envelope tab. At the top, it should say join pool. When you press the plus button, then you put in FLO, MOAI, Flow MOAI. All the people in the pool will give you notifs here. Um, when I send a notification when my PB is open, press the refresh button should be at near the top. Um, and then you can join. The password will always be 4866. Um, so yeah. It doesn't say pool. It should say pool. I believe everyone should have this feature. Unless you just got the game today, which I don't know how that works. Uh, if you haven't played a match at all yet, but... You shouldn't be in the shoal, you shouldn't be... Um... You shouldn't be... Doing things here. Here's what it would look like. It should say join pool when you're on the envelope thing right here. But you have to press the plus button on your controller. And then you should enter in that and then you can join. So that's how you do it. You don't know what the, the 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 lobby menu is you just go into the kettle here or you can press the left shoulder button if you don't know how many people knew that you could did not know that you could press the shoulder button it does tell you on the bottom right but some i i, I sometimes i see people just go into here i normally don't do that but yeah the, the password uh the pool name is f-l-o-m-o-a-i My button broke. Ah, oh, I see, I see. I oh, see, a night bot doesn't work. I need to fix that. I think it's a moderation thing that I have to do. But you can go in there to QA, always press L. Yeah. Anyway. Um. But yeah, this will be a squid party lobby. Uh, we'll try and get you in Master Royale here. Um, no killing in this lobby. We're just gonna have fun. We're just gonna party. Um, actually, right now there is technically a challenge going on, but we played enough challenge earlier. I think we're good. Um, yeah, here, here is the pool name. It is on the screen on stream, so it's on the upper right hand corner. People who press L to Q in are the true L takers. What do you mean, Red Zion? Huh? Jimmy. Yeah, I'm going to send a notif right now. So if you're in the pool, you should see it on that envelope tab. I know some people still like to um, friend people, but this is a lot easier because you don't have to friend. You can change the pool anytime. You can also join other people that are in the pool as well, and you don't even have to have them friended. So. Yeah. Um, can we have someone leave so we can get Meme Royale in here just so they can join the squid party? Because they have been patiently waiting for me to explain. So, for anyone that has been in a lot of lobbies, 
Be good. Also, it's just one A. Uh, can someone else step on out? <laughs> Yeah, we just need one spot open, so no one join until the uh, Memorial joins in. Yeah, can someone that's already been in a lot of lobbies just step out? I know you guys want to play in the squid party, but I, I just need someone to step out. All right, I'll send the note up again. Uh, if you're um, if you're waiting for the notice, you can press X on the envelope screen to refresh. Also, it does not matter. So I love all the jukebox music right now. I'm gonna get my Splatoon 2 outfit on right now. Ah, oh. Feels so weird. Having my Splatoon 2 thing. So, yeah. Also, the coach should not... It should be an eye. On, on my stream, it's not cut off, so... Unless you're watching on a device that cuts it off. It should have eye. All the letters, I promise you. We're telling the truth here, so don't. Also, Melon has only been in one room tonight. Okay. Also, is the room full again? Oh boy. I don't want to keep everyone waiting here, so. So it's okay, but usually, usually the 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 pool is in the, always in the top right hand corner of my screen. The pass is always four eight six six. The numbers in my name. So yeah. Check who's played a lot. Admittedly, a lot of people have been following the rules today. Wow, you guys are rule followers. Thank you. I'm just kidding. No, I appreciate that. Um, no, there's been a lot of different people tonight. So, Wolfie has played in a lot. Rod Day's played a lot, but they're not even in here right now. Uh, I think the only person that should leave is probably Bads. If we're if we were to name one person, they've been in a lot. Yeah, bats. If you can leave, just so we can get this other person here, that'd be good. I know you guys have all been following the rules, so I hope no one is taking this as um hate right now. I just want this. I want to try and uh, get this person in. Also, is this you? Did you join in? Ah, 
you're in. Okay, that's cool. Awesome. Well, this is actually conveniently our last lobby of the stream. We will be squid partying, so all you have to do is just hang out and don't kill people. Um, and you know what? And we'll do a squid party on humpback. Why not? So yeah, we'll go ahead and just kind of just vibe. Um, and yeah, we'll we'll get things going. Yeah, we just we just vibe here. Um, but yeah, you can use whatever weapon you want. Just squid party shenanigans. I'm just realizing that it is midnight right now and the eye bags are for me. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it is late. But I've had a lot of fun today, though. Admittedly. Which isn't a bad thing. You know, I don't stream as many, uh, much PBs as I normally do because, you know, there's a lot of things in this game that you can play, right? You can play Anarchy, you can play Salmon, you can do anything. There's a lot of stuff. Side order? That's battle. I've been doing a lot of that, so... Admittedly, I don't play it enough, but... Um... You know, it's always a treat being able to do PBs, because I really do want to do them more. It's just... There's so much to do in this game that I just want to take advantage of. Um... It's just really fun. Um... Also, yeah, this is not a photo party. Uh, uh, for anyone that's wondering, a hint on if there's going to be a photo party or not. There's a photo party. I usually don't do picture perfect as the mini game. So, for anyone wondering, which by the way, I didn't even look at the results for that. So, stick around until after this. And uh, yeah. Also, I'm curious. Can you? Can you like um? Just a random thought. Ah! Can't go on to there. I wanted to walk the railing, but you can't do that. It's a little upsetting. You can't even make that jump either. Oh, come on. You can almost make that jump. I wish you can make that. I wish you can like make that. You can't. <laughs> Damn you, Nintendo! Why? I can't do silly things. I think they raised this area higher. I remember this area being a little bit more open, but I guess to avoid all the shenanigans. Yeah. Ugh. If only. So I'm sorry I ruined someone's heart. All right, time to jump off. I love just fooling around in squid parties. I'm gonna go over here. 
Hello. Goodbye. I'm not dying. Except I do die. Which, that's kind of unfunny because no one should be killing anyway, but... You know. Anyway. That wraps it up for today. I appreciate everyone for vibing out with me. Um... This has been a boatload of fun. Um, I definitely need to do PBs more often, don't I? Uh, so yeah, maybe we'll do them next week again. We'll have to see. It depends on what the vibes are cooking up. Um, but I appreciate everyone for playing the challenge with me. It was really fun. We got to play some table turf and some PBs today, which has been absolutely awesome. Um... I appreciate everyone for stopping by. A lot of people decided to stop stop on by. So I do appreciate. Um, yeah, it's going to be cool. Um, so. My brain is blanking on. I'm sorry, chat. I'm very tired. The eepiness is hitting. Honk shoe, honk shoe. Um, but yeah. Um, tomorrow, we're going to be doing some Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. We have a Nuzlocke to get through. Seventh gym land to get through. Oh, we got silver. Oh, that's cool. We got silver. 1916 power. Not a lot of people are playing, huh? That's awesome. Oh, 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 oh wait, 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 wait. I forgot. Get your picture perfect. Who won? We gotta see this. All right. Um, let's begin. Obviously, the person in the most pictures wins. I forgot. No one knew how to play the game at the start. So no one gets any points for this picture. <laughs> hey guys. Look at all these people in this picture. I love seeing all these people in this picture. Do you know, this is... Wow. That's just beautiful. Why is the picture so pretty? I don't know. It's pretty aesthetic. Uh, yeah, so... That's pretty cool. Very packed full of people. The clams win this one. <laughs> yeah. It's too crowded. <laughs> oh, wait. I think I see something, Chad. I think I see something in there. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Wait, 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 wait. No, it was supposed to be a joke. Wait, do you guys see that? You see that? Do you guys see that? God, I ruined the joke. I meant to add the little image in there, but I'm just stupid. Anyway, Clash Neo. Clash Neo wins that picture, so. Yeah. <laughs> I meant to hide the image, but I forgot to hide the image first and then appear it. Put a red circled arrow over it. Maybe, maybe this will be the uh, thumbnail for next week. Just. This will be the thumbnail. Anyway, let's start with actual people. We have Wolfie, Sharky, and No Name here. Look at Wolfie's little chuckle. They have a little chuckle going on in there. And Sharky is, I think, falling off the thing. And then we have No Name, who I never realized what outfit they had on. But it is a very interesting cat outfit. So yeah, take some screenshots of these really crusty previews. Crusty, crunchy previews. And also we have this guy. That's pretty cool. That is totally not menacing. Hello. That, my... That's really menacing. Like, okay. But Sharky's also in this picture as well. They're, they're hanging out right here. Or what? Dad? Yeah. What's my dad doing here? I don't know who Flota's dad is, but you are pretty cool. They're just staring into your soul. There's no thought behind those eyes. And last but not least, um, you have... Um, yeah. Wait, there's someone else in this picture! Oh, wait, I can't see it anymore. 
Never mind. Anyway. Whoa! Look at all these people! We have Wolfie, no name, Lono's dad, guess who, and Sharky in this picture, which means Sharky wins the game, being in all three out of four pictures. <laughs> so, yeah. Sharky, I don't know if you're still here or if you're in town or whatever, but you have one picture perfect. So that is very cool. Um, yeah, I love that game. Isn't it cute? You also get some pretty aesthetic pictures, right? And uh, yeah, you get the uh, best, best uh, little pictures there. The clams are in three or four pictures. <laughs> true, true. Maybe the, Actually, the clams win. The clams win, chat. The clams are in every picture. Yeah, you guys, you guys didn't win. The clams did. All the clams. Clam, clams win. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Clash Neo wins. Wait, do you guys see them? I don't see them anymore. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Anyway. Oh dear. Anyway, once again, thank you for watching. We'll probably do PBs next week. We'll see, depending on my mood. Um, yeah, tomorrow Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Be there if you want to watch Pokemon die. Hopefully not, but uh, we're gonna be playing some Pokemon tomorrow. Uh Sunday I might stream, we'll see. Though it is Easter Sunday, so I hope for those that do celebrate, you have a lovely holiday. Um, I will say though that I will be streaming on Monday. Um, it's going to be a super duper serious stream, and I hope, I really hope people come to watch the stream. It's super duper serious. It's like a super big announcement. So, like, you better be there on Monday, okay? So, yeah, it's going to be super duper exciting. I cannot wait to show you guys what I've been planning for so long. Do you know I was planning for something? Yeah, like, I've been planning for something, and I'm, like, so excited to share with you all, so... Um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, that's what we're going to be doing on, uh, yeah, Monday. So. Let's gamble. I want to gamble. Oh, can't gamble. Well, let's, let's do that. What are we going to get? Sub saver. Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I got to go. So, Flash Neo. I mean, bye-bye. Sorry. Messed up the outro.